Testing, 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 testing. Testing mic, testing mic. Mic is good. Game audio seems to be good. Moogle unlock quests? What? I gotta go deal with Moogles to get cards? You kidding me? Are you kidding me? <clears throat> um, hi everyone. Uh, good to see you all. Uh, welcome back. It's been a whole week since uh, we, we went on a short break, and uh, <laughs> we, we did we did do community events last week, but I'd lost my voice temporarily, and it's mostly black, back, so I apologize if at some point I, I mute the microphone to cough, but um, there, there was nothing going on here, okay? I was just chatting with this wonderful fellow. We were, we were having a, a lovely conversation, and about nothing in particular and you know it's just it's just the way things are sometimes you know you gotta you gotta just chat it out with with some people and and become become friends with with randoms there's definitely <laughs> there was definitely nothing going on <laughs> i don't know i don't know what you're talking about don't look at my inventory full of random trash uh <laughs> trash stuff all right it i i told i told everyone that stream that it is, it is not a triple triad stream. Because from what we have experienced so far, uh, there's almost no people to play triple triad against in here. We're gonna ignore the fact that I totally know that there's some like, uh, you know, servant or something in here that you totally can play triple triad with eventually. I just haven't figured it out yet. Uh, um, it has nothing to do with anything. No, it is not a triple triad stream. Not a triple triad stream. No, it is, it is, a, it is an MSQ stream. So we're gonna we're gonna go do some MSQ. <laughs> All right, where are we supposed to go? We gotta go over here. We gotta we gotta go around this building, isn't it? I've forgotten now. Is it down this down the walkway? Oh, that's right. There's a walkway over here. I was like, it's behind this building, but I didn't see the path for it. So go check on dinner. Very good to eat dinner. I definitely did not play Triple Triad while eating dinner. That would be just plain silly. That would be just plain silly. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Lavava with the new purple hair. Well, the upgraded, I guess, purple hair. All right. Tall, then small. And then small also gets head rubs. Other small. And then triple small. <laughs> Instead of triple triad. It's a triple small. <laughs> yes. The small has... Uh, all the smalls have good haircuts. All the smalls have good haircuts. We have not changed our hair at all. Because it's it's closest to what we actually... Ha what I have generally. Um, except that it's almost always in a ponytail. <laughs> Makes my life a little bit easier. But no, I haven't done a tournament yet because I don't know how long a tournament is. If anyone's done tournaments more regularly and knows generally how long a tournament lasts, that'd be great to know. But it is time to continue. Graha, it is awesome to see you. Yastola, I think I'll get slapped if I hug you, so I'm going to skip. But Alize and Alfino, you have some fantastic new outfits. These outfits are, like, so high definition. They went from, like, 630p to 1080p. I don't know. I don't think they're quite 4K yet, but they're they're getting up there, getting up there for sure. We're we're at like the the 920p maybe. Uh, it, it's 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 close, but not not on that level. That level is a whole the next level. We got to get to that tier. So since there has been progress in both investigations, shall we share the findings of our respective locales? Oh yes, all of the reading. Let's go. Which I expect there to be a lot of reading tonight, so. Dun, 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 dun. I totally was surprised. Yeah, in Thafnir, we didn't actually fight the Lunar Primal. I wanted to fight whatever this Lunar, lunar Primal was that they, they had going on, you know? Do we fight three at the same time because they had, like, the three different, you know, gods or whatever? That would be so cool. But, uh, no, no, we didn't, we didn't get to do anything. It's opinion, fairly uneventful. Out 
Walker's request and assaulting the Tower of Zot should be our highest priority. I agree. I want to fight a primal. While I still have questions concerning the Forum and their grand undertaking, we have all but exhausted our avenues of investigation. No, we haven't. We still haven't figured out what's going on with the moon. <laughs> you exhausted our avenues of investigation. Have you looked at the moon? I don't know. What does any of this have to do with the moon? Why in the trailer? Are we fighting monsters on the moon? I just don't know. Okay, <laughs> this is giving me giving me pain. Simply pressing them any harder on the subject will almost certainly result in our expulsion. Therefore, I suggest we explore the ethereal sea connection by way of a letter to Master Matoya, then make our way to Thavnir. Look at Alfie knows just drip, straight drip. I wonder, even with the protection these talismans afford us. What can we hope to achieve once inside the tower? Going and finding the uh, talisman again. To Arnvold and Fordola's report, they were unable to free the Amolja. Worse, their attempts triggered the tower's defenses, which led to a summoning of Luna Ifrit. Ifrit? What does it tell us that the spires even have such defenses? It means that there's something in there that we can poke around in. Simply pulling a prisoner from the wall is fatal. Thus, the direct approach is doomed to failure from the outset. Any further measures to dissuade such actions seem unnecessary. Unless, of course, hey, there is a way to free the prisoners without killing them. Then it stands to reason that any intruders will be met with overwhelming force. Just have to find the right button to press. Towers appeared throughout the world in but the twinkling of an eye. Twas by magical means these structures were raised, I surmise. A spire thus conjured must needs be maintained. And I suspect an arcane catalyst, some manner of core, doth lie hidden within. Ooh. Destroy like the Bahamut cores? The tower ceaseth to be, thus liberating the captives without harm. We're not counting the pixels on that astrologian weapon. with a working theory than with no plan at all. <laughs> yeah, we have not investigated them very much. The chances of the defenses remaining dormant small to none. Any primals will have to be dealt with, and defeating one will likely only lead to the summoning of another. Our every victory will only compound the prisoner's suffering. May we not then divide our forces? Oh, Graha speaking up! Healing will focus on sustaining the captives. That duty can be covered by Urianger, Kryl, Yostela, and myself. The remaining scions will proceed with the search for the core. Admittedly, this strategy puts both parties at greater risk, but it should bolster our chances of saving the Arcasodora by a considerable margin. Arcasodora. Arcasodora. We gotta remember that. <laughs> Not counting, but we could. Alfido in the... Uh... Oh, we want Alize, so definitely not, but... Um, Alfido, he definitely has healing, but... <laughs> we'll do that one, because we want Alize in our crew. Absolutely. She's definitely more of a uh, bloodthirsty. If you're to fight primals, then you'd best have at least one healer with you. And I am more than happy to fulfill that role. I found wielding a sage's armaments to be rather intuitive and look forward to testing them against a more challenging foe. Oh, did I miss something? Was, did he say that Alize was going with the rest of the crew? All that remains is to carry it out. I will inform Rods at Han of our movements, so let us make our preparations and regroup near the tower. A military post in what's left of the Hamsa hatchery should serve as a convenient staging. That sounds perfect. And remember, oh, that's the cool. Etherite at the confluence is there for those who need it, so there's no excuse for being late. <laughs> She's uh, saying that specifically to Thancred, I think. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's gonna be awesome. Finally we get to fight something! It's been way too long. Other than, than dealing with preppy... Preppy no-gooders. We're gonna make them glow! Glow! Get in here, Lalas! Add to the glow! <laughs> 
<laughs> trying to g pose we're we're causing problems <laughs> and the different dragoon outfits there you go flex it up flex it up t pose t pose <laughs> You'll miss what's to come. You can definitely hang out and watch. That's totally cool. <laughs> the most gentlemanly pose. Into the dark of the tower. This is excellent. Excellent. Ilselbard. Ilselbard. Now we can't fly and we can't get to that one, right? Because we haven't even gone to this whole lower section. I didn't realize there is a way in through the middle there. So that's good to know. Though we probably it's barred somehow. But we have been to both of these, so we'll go to the great work first. Have we added more, added more wows? <laughs> wow. Wow. All right, let's go and uh, check out a dark tower. Come on, everybody. One or more members aren't available for teleporting. You'll have to make your own way then. There's no, no excuse for being late, so... I bet the third healing option is, I don't want to fight. I'd rather, uh... Oh, yeah, we can. We can pull out our parasol. Uh, I'd rather join the healing crew. We will take seat three. Come on, Harsh. Get your button here. No, we're leaving Harsh behind. Bye, Harsh. <laughs> Too slow. You're a Dragoon. You should have been able to flip over here. I wonder, Jalamuk? I wonder, that's a blue quest. That might be a, a separate external dungeon. Oh, Alchemist or Dancer. Oh. I wonder if you get both, Alchemist and Dancer from them. That'd be kind of cool. At some point, we need to... I wish there was a um, Chocobo thing up here by the hatchery. Because we could take a Chocobo porter up there. That would have been cool. I would have done that a lot, so... And we have arrived. Nabdeen, I've got a parasol for you. You don't have to stand in the rain anymore. I know you think it look, makes you look cool. Standing in the rain like a boss. But I got you. Our friend... Uh, ah, our friend of Orsia. We've been expecting you. And I totally forget their accent, so I'm not even going to pretend like I can do it. You and yours will lead our mission into the tower, I'm told. The warding scales will be delivered soon. Till then, please stand by at the boat we have readied. When your fellows arrive, I'll direct them to you. We pray for your safety and success. And success. All right, well, I'm sorry. I have to... Uh, I I'd give you this parasol in case I don't come back, but I don't think that you're going to take it, so I'll just have to take it with me. But but know that I'm thinking of you, all right? <laughs> to the boat! To the boat! Oh, Rathbos. I'm so used to flying around because of... Um, not triple triad before the stream. <laughs> Not flying again. It's tilting. Tilting! Uh-oh. Is this going to be a solo dungeon after this cutscenes? I bet it's going to be a solo dungeon after these cutscenes. Should have grabbed a screenshot there. I gotta remember, I gotta get... I gotta beat... Who is it? Miri that has like... 8 gigabytes of uh, screenshots. If this is the future of Aetherite travel, I think I'll stick to boats. Aye, no warning. However emphatic could have prepared me for that. Oh, they, had, they dealt with the same sickness that the rest of us did. <laughs> On account of which, we are a little late. But, uh, fighting fit. Well, mostly. I'm okay with you not butchering an Indian accent. <laughs> Thank you, Malmita. <laughs> Glad I have at least one person on my side. My friends, permit me to thank you for accepting this mission. You must be, uh, should we still call you Varshan, I suppose? Right, this is the, like, uh, puppet, uh, there's a, a name for it, Simulcrum, whatever, um, the, the dragon controls, I'm forgetting the dragon's name, but we, we had a whole run-in with the dragon that is, like, leading this entire area, and the king is just a, a puppet king, and that this is kind of his spokesperson, which is why it's like, oh, danger, I don't really care, because this is not even a real body, I'm just controlling it. So, I'm kind of curious on, on how the ether works for this, because that's a whole new level of magic, and 
control that we haven't really seen before, so... Get, get this. Varshan is Virtra's VTuber avatar. Ah, yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, so does Vitra uh, stream? Like, I need I need to go s sub to them on Twitch. So, you know, if, if there's a dragon streamer, definitely gotta go, gotta go sub. <laughs> Vitra Simulcrum, yeah. He does still care about the body. Well, I, I know, but obviously he's not going to, to die, so. Jake knows he'll never top my SS folder. <laughs> I I can try, okay? It's it's it, it's a goal. I, I won't be able to, but at least I can try. <laughs> Yo, your your screenshot folder is so massive. Like, I think I would need to buy a whole new hard drive just just to even get close to that. I just hit here and just mash print screen on everything. So, indeed, let's not confuse the soldiers. Very well then. For our part, we are humbled that you would see fit to entrust us with your boarding scales. Please convey as much to His Excellency. He didn't seem to be missing all that many scales when we talked to him. One for each of you. Please accept them with my blessings. Except we don't need one. Ah, thanks. With these, we can go anywhere those with the blessing of light can go. You mean tempered by Heidelin? <laughs> Not only for this operation either, but for the ones to come. We can finally break your monopoly on primals. I've been waiting for this day. I won't mind carrying on as before, you know. In any case, they're all... <laughs> In that case, you can deal with the bad crit. Have them. I'm out of here. Uh, I've been waiting for this day mostly to, to fight alongside them. You know, it's it's cool. I definitely wouldn't mind carrying on before, but I know that that's been kind of a, a sore spot for them. So waiting for this day is like we get to fight together. We get to do this together. We're all in this together, one by one. Don't you know, we'll slay those primals too. We're all in this together. So we have, my friend. So have we. If everyone is amiable, then let us review the strategy for good measure. As previously agreed, we will divide into two groups. The healers and the murderers. Jake and his band will break through the tower's defenses and locate its core. Meanwhile, the rest of us will tend to the prisoners, who will doubtless want for healing due to the duress of repeated summonings. How are you going to heal, like, hundreds, though? The primals which the tower bringeth forth shall be deities of Thav... Thavnarian myth. As we have no prior experience with such foes, pray exercise the utmost caution when confronting them. We commence the operation at your word, my friend. Time for the pew pew pews. For the people of Thavnir, nay, the entire world, we must prevail. Are we actually taking down a tower in this mission? That would be so cool. I, I definitely thought that like we would have to blow up the main tower to then destroy all the other towers. But what if we the rest of the campaign is just running around beating up small towers? All right, we're taking everybody. All y'all, we're going, everybody, in at the same time. Oh, we already have our crew. Jake Kelton, Harsh, Karunika, and Lalina. A great party. Well, Mari, Lalaki, let me give you a hug. Please be safe. Don't get tempered. I know you have the, the uh, tempering of the light. <laughs> this is what we're going to call it. It's a blessing. We're just going to call it tempering of the light from now on. Um, Lavava, don't, don't, you, don't you cause any problems, all right? I know you. And... Uh, <laughs> be safe all right <clears throat> i think we we're gonna check our gear we are still high on condition because of a repair that i think holo did last time uh we're gonna eat an egg for good measure actually i should have eaten a farmer's breakfast it has better tenacity vitality yeah we're gonna do that we're gonna switch over that's fine and uh I can't get any better than the gear we have, so we're going in. Party of other players. The Tower of Zot. Every time I look at Zot, though, my brain goes like, rot. The Tower of Rot. Human Sona. Aura Sona, yes! 
Wait, does that mean if I if I cosplay as an aura, that they're that my aura sona? What is that? What? Okay, that was weird looking. There was way more blue in that than I was expecting. This is supposed to be like purple and eerie, and instead there was like a, a, a blue. Oh, wait, they're all here too. Foul place. Let us proceed with caution. Oh, <gasps> this is awesome. Graha, be safe. All right. Uh, probably didn't need to reprise all that, but that's okay. Big group of enemies. I'm overthinking everything now because my Amita is here going to be judging me. The only way is through. Oh, yeah. And through we go. This guy. Zrot Armored Fiend. He does kind of look like, um... What was that one little demon fellow? The Jester dude? I wonder if, if during this, um, Yastola and Uriange would heal us. Like, they're obviously helping fight him, which is great. This is a great surge of ether, as if a summoning hath begun. We gotta go! Oh. Oh, those are the three! Look, this beastly mask. It's the Mani... Manusia, come to life. We will focus on sustaining the Arca Sodara. Oh, these are Imperials, Sempered Imperials. Onwards and upwards. It's almost like caterpillar walkways around. Really gross. But I guess we did. I was thinking, I was like, why don't bad guys ever live somewhere like really beautiful? But I suppose that we just did fight in Shadowbringers. Um... Uh, what's his name that, you know, had built like this whole golden and uh, marble temple. And I'm like, yeah, that, that was actually a pretty nice place. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah, Vothri and his like temple to himself and all the sinless. Whoa! Hide in the corner. Ah, thank you guys. Beat him just in time. Uh oh. Number one. Arrive at Ingenuity's Ingress. Minerva. Alright, let's try it. Try it and get murdered. Now, usually they start off... Yeah, I was about to say. Usually they start off with some, like, crazy big slam. Either it's an AoE or it's an individual just on you. Oh. Okay. I think we still got hit by that. Oh. Hang on, I'm turning the music up. Uh, why do I feel like we need to go stand in that?
Ow. They get for the heals and shields. Okay, so I can't decide if the little orby things that they throw out, you have to interrupt or get there in time. Let me see if I can just run through it. What happens if I just run through it? Nope. Okay, I don't know that that worked. Ugh. What is happening right now? My fingers all twisted up. Okay, I got Sentinel for that. That's no problem. Alright, I don't think we're getting groups of ads, so I'm okay to use the arm's length. And I haven't seen any uh, any slams. I think we're okay. Oh, what? Whoa! Hey, come back! We weren't done yet! Ooh, treasure chest! Huh. <sighs> Ah, uh, never any tank stuff. Okay. That's the fight. They transmute the spells. It casts... Where the ball lands. Okay, so it's kind of just like a, a... It alerts you as to this is where the spell is going to be cast from. Which sometimes means you want to go stand in it, and sometimes it means you don't want to stand in it. That makes sense. Okay, so these are tempered Imperials. What is wrong with them? They got these, like, spiky tentacles sticking out of their shoulders and heads. Fire in, lightning propagates, bio is cleave, ice is the star. Wait, I mean, you got, you're telling me that I gotta pay attention to which spells are cast? I can't just, like, randomly run around and hope that I don't immediately get executed by whatever spell it was that <laughs> I run into or run away from? I actually gotta, like, read spell casting? Who would think that that would be reasonable inside of MMO video game? That's just silly. Zot Hyperdoom. Oh! Wait, we fought a guy like this! But this one's red! Remember in the, the Empire thing at the end of um, Stormblood, I think it was? We fought a dude like this. But they've upgraded him. He's bigger, faster, stronger. We can rebuild him. They definitely did rebuild him here, that's for sure. Alright, I got some spells for you, buddy. Oh, there we go. Going the wrong way. Okay, so not all these spots are full. We're definitely seeing some empty spots. <gasps> Need. Need. Tank gear. Bending gear. About time. Okay, I'm going to let a lot of my stuff come off a of cooldown. Uh, especially the, the bigger spells, because I kind of got mixed up in the last fight. I'm just going to stick to yield classic. Control one, two, three for a little bit. Is this pants or boots? Boots. Okay, we might actually get something out of that. Um, 
the the pants are the ones that I'm always a little bit laughing at because uh, as it turns out pants are usually quite hidden uh, Oh, wait, what am I doing? Oh, well, whatever. Whatever. Um, pants are quite hidden underneath, depending on the boots that you have, and depending on the uh, chest piece that you have. Sometimes you barely get to see any of the pants at all, and it's quite funny. It's like, you go to all this effort to get a pair of pants, and then you can't even see it. Gotcha. Gotcha. Except when serving coffee. We're not talking about the Critica. We're not talking about that, alright? Definitely wore pants. It was just the Emperor's pants, alright? It's fine. <laughs> not embarrassing at all. Definitely not the fact that it's like recorded on stream for forever. For always and ever. Everyone to see my shame clear as day. This music is so cool. I need I need to find this on uh, YouTube. I've been listening to some more hard rock stuff today when I was at work. It was one of those days at work where you just kind of sit down and just grind. You're like, I got so much to do, and all of it's a little bit on the the boring side. So we're just gonna sit, ah! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! and we're just gonna grind. Oh no! Oh no! What happened? No! How? That's baloney. Apparently it had some don't stare at them mechanic. Okay. Some time mechanic. No, Karinica! <laughs> Ow. Now me. Ow. Okay, how do you beat that? Or can you beat that? Maybe you can't. Yeah, it hit harsh too. Oh, man. And you know what this means, right? There's gonna be some test afterwards. It's like, you gotta remember all these spells, what they do, in what order, too. Oh, no. Get back here. Oh, hey! Uh, I guess I'm gonna fight one. There was a dancing one. Ah! No! I was looking away! Thank you. No, it's too early. <laughs> too early. You tried. You tried. I'll see if Bulwark works on this. I don't think so, but nope, it did not. <laughs> it was worth a try. I was curious. It was worth making the healers suffer. Okay, so this is the little stopping thing. I looked away. We'll see if it actually worked this time. It doesn't look like it worked. Okay, so what you can do, though, is I'm seeing now that uh, when the little thing on the ground shows up, you can actually use that to cast whatever, like, mitigation spells if you have them. Uh, it's a good time to cast the mitigation spells. Oh, no, we got the question thing again. All right, which one is not dancing? Hey, got her. Maybe. Yeah. <gasps> fending. There's the 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 what? Oh no, that was just I I got the fending boots. Hold on. Look at these teeth. There's so many. Arcasadora. Oh, whoa! No way! Is this the top of the tower? Uh, maybe not. Yeah, it does kind of look like it's the top of the tower. This is crazy! Okay, that's cool. I was expecting us to go all the way up to the top. Ooh. 
Oh, treasure chest. Excuse me a little. Oh, harsh got it. He wins. Fine. All right, that's it. Monster, come over here and come beat up Harsh. He's a ranger, so it should be really easy. All right, Harsh, you ready? I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna send him to you. You can, you can fight him. You, you got your provoke ready, right? <laughs> Ring of aiming. Oh, hello. Oh, I actually kind of hate the airships. They're really annoying. Top floor Magitek mutants and man-made horrors beyond my comprehension. Orwin, how good to see you. Doing all right tonight? Harsh decided that- whoa, oh, those are the little tentacle things that disappeared. Imagine getting thrown into one of those things. You just get impaled. More treasure. Hey, earrings offending. I'll take it. And some random black mage stuff. But who does black mage? Who does black mage for real? Oh, you went ahead and got the other guy. <laughs> like, Jake, you're not doing this fast enough. We're gonna get everybody, all right? Uh-oh. Use your mitigations, Jake. Use your mitigations. Only treasure chests on the first two branches, but not on this one. Oh, look, see, they got all three little triangle things. Oh, now they got Zot armored weapons, too. I'm going to use that. Ooh, get out of there. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, 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 pew. All the pews. No, I'm, I, I hate doing uh, uh, all the tank on the first first run. But I don't know what's going on. No matter the cost, we must protect the tower. Yeah, I, I, I think that's probably the opposite of what you should be doing. Harbinger elect the Magnus Magus sisters. We got three to deal with. Black Mage is a power trip. Uh, yeah. That tier three fireball feels real good. Okay, we rolled on everything. Focus one at a time, yellow, then green, then red. All right, we'll try it. Do I need to tank all three at the same time? But 
Spatial ice and tomb. Okay, let's uh, move out of the way of that. Ah! Okay. Okay. Let's go this way. Woo! That was fun. You wanna do it again? Sentinel that. Ah! Sentinel! Sentinel! Oh, I guess I need to... Can I, um, provoke you? Okay, there we go. Oh, I did that timing wrong. I have no idea what's happening. Ooh, boy. Wow, what the actual heck? And I think we didn't do too terrible there. I mean, we probably could have absolutely done horrible and I wouldn't know, but you know. I think that the, our, our dash in that we did uh, to get close to the little AOE hole that we could survive in worked out really well. Okay, so that's going to be where the center of whatever her spell is is. Oh, let's let's not do that. Let's not do that. Okay, we're all good. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, oh. Yeah, I got one down. Alright, I totally forget. I think it's green next. Everyone seems to be focusing green, so we're focused green. Oh, good damage. Good damage, Harsh. I think that was Harsh. All of my abilities are on complete chaos of like cooldown order. Got a sentinel for that. Woo! Woo! <laughs> if you don't have one vulnerability, you're not a black mage. <laughs> you're doing black mage wrong. All right, but that doesn't matter because we have to find the core. We got to beat the core. Where's the core at? Oh, maybe that's the, the center of the giant laser thing. That was cool, though. Um, the, the dashing was really sick. Oh, we leveled up, too. We got some new a new skill that I totally don't know where it showed up. Or maybe it's a skill that leveled up let's see here actions and traits 82 holy shellatron i don't see an 84 86 is a thing mm. roll 48 actions yeah maybe not Traits, there it is. Enhanced intervention. Oh! Extends the duration intervention by eight seconds. Maybe that's what we got upgraded. Shelltron Mastery 2. Holy Shelltron! Cool. Let's uh, check out the loot. We'll just greed on it. It said check out the top. Whoa! You look like Nocturne running around. Oh, but the rest of the... What is it that's hiding all of it? Is it the pants that are hiding it? 
No, it's the gloves. Oh. Interesting. Yeah, the gloves are like... See, that is weird, but cool. It would be really cool for like a black mage. That's exactly what it is. Black mage. Cool. Alright, photo op. Oh, that does kind of look core-ish. That is where the laser's pointing out. You, you, you'd think that you'd be able to figure out that it's a core just based on like it's it's a giant lasery thing of doom. But nope, not me. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. <laughs> That's it, right there. <laughs> Nope. Hang on. Oh, two is just my character? Oh. Uh, y'all, I think that's what we're supposed to be, uh, dealing with. <laughs> it's actually a pretty cool photo. Let's see if I can... There we go. Maybe one more. Get a few less particles running around. Nice. <laughs> Guys, that thing looks dangerous. All right, we got to take like eight you know, pictures. Remember? Screenshot. We got to fill up the screenshot thing. All right, what do all these people say? From what I can tell, the summonings appear to be over. No brief belief is sacred to the Teleferoi. To Laferoy. They were nimble fighters. I'll give them that. It seems that there have been the limit to the tower's defenses. For now. We'll see. Uh, well, I'm kind of curious on for the floor. Like, right, you see the threes? Everything's threes because they're kind of three deities all combined into one. Uh, I wonder if the floor on the top of the tower will be different based upon what beast tribe it is that they've they've combined so all right let's take it out can we just chop the big red line is everyone all right yeah we're good we fortified the captives with what magics we could have the defenses been disabled all appears quiet for the moment the lower floors were disturbing enough but this place feels wrong the ether is heavy and thick, like wading through a quagmire. I've always heard of it as quagmire. Stand in the tower's beating heart. What sayest thou, Ishtola? Can you see anything with your eyes? I see it. Ether siphoned from the land runs up through the spire, flowing to a single point. Point me where I stab my sword. This is the core we seek. Yet, something is off. As large as this structure is, it <clears throat> siphons far more ether than is required to sustain it. Tis as if the core is feeding on the energy, consuming it. I need to take a closer look. Don't get too close. Where's your, where's your talisman? Careful, 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 careful. Ooh, please don't get corrupted. There is something there embedded inside the core. Oh no. Not someone. A man's limb. A man's l what? This is what we came to destroy? Yes, if you'll be so kind. Someone's limb. Is it part of Xenos?
Yeah, Sidian. I love when he just does the Nidhogg charge. What a boss. All right, we got to find well, maybe the limb got destroyed too. It kind of it kind of got super exploded. And that should be the end of it. It's only the beginning. Cry while falling over. What now? You'd think being low to the floor, Lala should have a better center of the tower might come crashing down following the cause destruction. Doth appear to be correct. And you didn't tell anyone? Fully for you. And how are we supposed to survive the fall? <laughs> What is this? What of the prisoners below? The floor beneath our very feet dissolves. Brace yourselves. Oh my gosh, what is happening? I pray I'm not too late. Kraha? Is he going to try to teleport everyone out or something? Like we know that he can do some crazy stuff. Oh my gosh. Did he teleport literally everyone to the shore? What the heck happened? Oh, what happened? Where are we? We made it to the moon! Finally, we're here! Graha just had to teleport us to the moon. That easy. <coughs> Sorry about that. By my reckoning, we're still on the island where the tower stood, but it is as if it never existed. Oh, do we just drop oh, down to like an that? island? But how? Where is Graha? Oh, no, he ain't dead. He ain't dead. I quit if he did. Graha wove a levitation spell at the last moment. Large enough to catch everyone, it would seem. <laughs> Karunika, don't do this to me. <laughs> uh, this is so problematic. Holy moly. That's a lot of people. A huge spell. Lack of obvious injuries. Is it pretty orange? The expenditure of so much ether has taken its toll. He will need plenty of rest, but should otherwise be none the worse for wear. Take a long, long nap and eat some Charlian bread. I hear it's good for you if your ether is low. Then the immediate problem is what to do with our new friends here. Load them in the boat. They'll be much changed for their time in the tower. Even if their bodies are intact, I doubt we could say the same for their minds. Angelo and I will take care of that. I have every faith in you, Alize, but there are just too many for you to treat alone. Especially without Graha. Graha can can do a lot, but you get Strola gonna help her. We'll send at once to Eorzea for more porksies, and call on the local mages to lend a hand. Hail, Scions. Varshan. We were watching the tower. When it simply disappeared. What happened here? It's a long the story. Vanished, and thy people delivered. They are, however, in need of treatment. And we of a secure locale and helping hands to assist us in its provision. You shall have all this and more. Come. Let us convey these unfortunate souls to the city. You're gonna need a lot of carts. Couple of wagons, handful of chocobos. Everyone, pull out your uh, your cars. She'll be okay. The only one in purple. No more ring. No more parasol. We're good. 
We did it! Ah, you're returned. As suddenly as the tower disappeared, we were gravely concerned for you and yours. I'm glad to see that all is well. On behalf of the people of Razat Han, I give you my heartfelt thanks. It's... it's gone! That's awesome. Poof. Like, I'd never been there before. Well, at least now we know, like, we just gotta drop nukes on the rest of them, right? If we, if we drop a nuke from orbit, maybe that's why the moon gets involved. Is that we just break apart the moon and drop comets on top of all the towers, destroy the cores, and... Okay, well, we still gotta figure out how to keep everyone from falling to their deaths uh, in the tower, but... We'll, we'll figure that out, okay? One, one problem at a time first, so... <laughs> you let someone die in Zot? No! <laughs> how could you do that? One person... The liberated prisoners are being transported to Razat Han for treatment. Ali Zayn Yastrola will oversee the administration of the tempering treatment, with support from those who know a healing spell or two. <laughs> so he's just running back and forth. <laughs> it's like on the Hera streams, the flash. Ah! <laughs> we'll go and join them in the city once you've had a moment to catch your breath. Oh, we get to go to the city again. I like that city. It was very colorful. Delina leveled up. Congratulations on your leveling, Lilina. Had enough rest, have you? Ah, uh, we didn't even need rest. We're good to go. You never were one for being idle. Right. Varshan bade us come to Megal... Meghaduda at our earliest convenience. Meghaduda. The others will join us once they have finished tending to the prisoners. Oh, uh, wait. On second thought, you and Astinian should go on ahead. I need to make a quick detour by the great work. We left Graha in the alchemist's care, you see. Best to fetch him before he's crammed into a specimen jar. Just you and me, then. The guardsman at the gate should wave us through. <laughs> Mirren, what are you doing running around, you crazy fool? <laughs> You're just like, full speed. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to catch up running back and forth. <laughs> and all right. If you need to do, do the duty again, do the duty, do, 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 do. Let us know. We could we could help out. All right. I think what we're going to do is we're going to disband this. And that way then Vava can invite us into the the crew. The crew. Once we got to join the crew. All right. We're going to hip hop hoppity way our way over to the gate. Yeah, you need to run the dungeon. Well, uh, pick who you like from ye old Discord squad. I'm sure that we can help you out with that. It's a cool dungeon. The music of the fights is awesome. I want to listen to that again, like full headphone blast. Low. Low running around. Oh, is that Fate? No. Oh, it's like some event that they had. Can we help out? Thank you, Lilina. I don't know what they were doing. Oh, wait, there's one more. Is that it? Looks like that's it. Oh, are we are we doing the squad? Yeah, I can't heal. I might not. Ah, I might not be good for this because I only have tank. Ah. I literally have no other option besides tank. That's a daily quest. I've never done the daily quests. I'm a bad daily quester.
Uh, Walt is offering to do heal. Uh, I can't, I can't invite them, so that's an Endwalker one anyway. You wouldn't be able to get it until you finish MSQ. Oh, well, there you go. Uh, can I have party invite? What I'll do is I'll invite Walt, who offered. Let me hop over. Oh, okay. They're gonna hop over to Zalera. And then they can jump in and run it with healing. Cannot locate a character with that name because they're not on Zalera yet. Flop, flop. <laughs> Rathal is just like so silly, but he's flopping around like a chicken. <laughs> and his giant wings. Ah, honored scions, you are free to enter at your leisure. As I cannot leave my post, I'm afraid you must make your own way. Should you require directions in the city, the sentry stationed at the fountain atop the steps should be glad to assist you. Do we now get to actually walk around it? Because we didn't get... <gasps> we didn't get to walk around it before. We were forced to do the tour. Uh, we're going to make Lelina in charge. And I'm going to drop myself out of the party. Since I can only tank. I have been to Razat Han before. This place is a veritable maze. Rather than risk getting lost, we had best ask for directions from the sentry at the fountain. Lead the way, and don't expect me to act as your tour guide like certain others. Sydney is now accompanying you. Keep him at your side in order to proceed with quest objectives. You can leave him behind in different areas. Oh, we got Destinian as our bro. Nice. Uh, that does not. <laughs> uh, I don't have a DPS, so it'd have two tanks. Where are we at in the story? Hey, Dillian. Uh, we just finished taking down the tower here at Razat Han. And now Estini and I are bro chilling and uh, hanging out. We're going to attune to some ether shards and, uh, you know, do what we got to do. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff to do here. Okay, cool. Oh, and there's the bridge up there to cross to get to the other place. Balaki and Harsh are just playing in the fountain. I don't know. Should we just go around and unlock all of the uh, <laughs> Aethers first? <laughs> just because they have... Whoa! Look at all these people! It's not often that you see this many people running around a place like this. This, already has, this Aether has been temporarily disabled? What? No. Really? Okay. Come on, Astinian. We're not taking directions yet. We're going to go wander around for a little bit, so. Near the beginning of Endwalker. No, this has got to be like halfway through the Endwalker. We're almost finished, right? There's no way that the, the taking down of the tower is only the beginning of the Endwalker. I, I heard the Endwalker was like a really short story, right? You take down a tower, and then you fight Xenos, and then it, it's over. And, and, and that's it. Super simple. Barely an inconvenience. This place is huge. I was like, oh, it just take me a second to run around and grab some of these things. But no, it's like all over. Mehrid's Marion. Most of the time you get these Aetherites when you're you're running around. So <gasps> this is the dancer. I bet there's a bunch of triple triad games that you can play in here. This seems like a very triple triad-y place. Dancer dancing. And it's Aura. Which are the best. Cool. So we could have just gone through that door, but there's kind of a, a porch to it. They're awesome. Hi, Roko. Ryoko? Ryoko. Vishbot? Have we talked to you before? No. Vishbot. I thought I recognized that name, but maybe not. The hair is making me think of Fordola, too. 
Man, it's going to take a minute to get all of these. So yeah, I think we're going to just get one more. Teleport back to the landing. Oh no, it's to the Alzadal's piece. And then uh, we'll, we'll see where the MSQ leads from there. Do we go up or down? Oh, tough questions. It looks like down is the way to go. Because up is going to go to the outside. Those are all the pillars. That's cool. Razet Han is a big spot for players these days. The dungeon is level 81, right? At the beginning. Our women are best women. You, you've you got it, Dillian. We are two alike in mind. And I, I still... I, I don't know, man. We've, we've done so many quests already. We've got to be, like, close to the end of Endwalker. Except we still haven't figured out what's going on with the moon. But Kronika says there's nothing going on with the moon. So maybe, maybe I'm crazy. So we could go and get that one, then run over here, then run over there, and then teleport everywhere. Hmm. Or do we come back here, then grab that one, then grab that one? Let's go back. <laughs> Al Zadal's piece and Al Zadal's sheet. Sheet. Asinian, what do you think? Here, let's get a photo together. We never get to do photo ops like this oh wait uh we're gonna lean because we're cool like that just two guys chilling and razaton arms crossed like we're bosses that's just how it is it's like the cover of a really terrible boy band photo or a uh, CD. Hey, uh, check out, check out my mixtape, man. It's really good. Ah, Master Jake, I presume. I understand you are here for an audience. Whoa, you are um, uh, U G L Y. <clears throat> I didn't say that. I understand you are here for an audience with the uh, Satra. If you require directions to Meghaduda, I should be glad to provide them. The Satrap's residence is situated in Dharma, the highest part of Rasadhan. To get there, I would ordinarily recommend a route that takes you by the bazaars in the city's north. Due to the state of the alert, however, most businesses are currently closed and the Eighth Rite disabled. As such, I'll provide you with an alternate route. Please first ascend to the steps next to this fountain, then continue left. There will be more steps, and upon ascending them, you'll emerge on the Parks' path. Proceed through the large door on the right, and you'll arrive at Ruveda's Fibers. Within, you'll find another sentry who will give you further guidance. What? In other words, we head... Oh, in other words, we head up. Sounds straightforward enough. Up and to the left. And then to the to the right and to the left and to the left and to the right. Oh, there's a conversational point over here. We'll definitely take a moment for Astinian to give us his thoughts. What do you think about this, Astinian? The sumptuous portal. Ah, yes. I know about this portal. It leads to a nearby island. The treasure vault of one of Razat Han's wealthiest families. They took the god of luck for their guardian, on account of which they occasionally open up a section of their vaults for aspiring treasure hunters to try their own luck, or so they say. There are also coffers hidden across the land that act as portals. Find one and you gain access to the vault. Oh, we did one of these vaults! I think it was Karinika that said always go left, and we got all the way to the end. It was crazy. Something to bear in mind in case you exhaust your funds while on the road. Tis a troublesome experience, I can personally attest. So this is a portal to get to one of those places? Interesting. The treasure vault. And there the it's kind of cool, is it I'm sure they had those treasure vaults around for a while, and they just kind of added lore and that there is a super wealthy Razathan family that it's like, hey, treasure hunters, try your luck. Come on down. Oh, wait. Is there a... Go through the stairs. And then up here. Ah, yes. I'm glad that I went there this route. Because this is the upper floors. Very... 
terrain reliant. Not terrain, but like like height reliant. Heading to Magaduta, are you? In that case, please follow this hallway to my right and go through the door at the top of the stairs. You'll emerge at the entrance to the airship landing, where another sentry should be on hand to assist you. Incidentally, if you ascend the steps to either side of me, you'll find the workshops of Ruveda Fibers. Though you're free to observe the artisans, care not to lose your way. Oh, so we can go look at the, the artisans. We can't look in there, though. Oh, we can look in here. Hello! Oh, she's wearing a mask. That's probably good. Don't want to get anyone sick. Ah, Thavnerian Weave. Hard to imagine more vibrant stuff. I dare say Emmerich and his would be partial to the gold thread. And the blue, of course. He loves his blue. I'm so glad that we wore blue to the little dinner that we got to have with him. I've never put much thought into what I wear. A spare set of clothing is usually all I carry, and if that isn't enough, I can always obtain something locally. Well, uh, Asinian, I, for one, would definitely be down to see you in uh, Bavnerian dancer clothes. All right, that's all I'm going to say, so. Yeah, see, like, this outfit here? Asinian, I think you look great in it. <laughs> I have a feeling he wouldn't be caught dead in that thing. I love the NPCs walking around. It adds so much vibrancy. Alright, so we're going the wrong direction. We gotta come back here. And then go to the right. But I don't think that the airship is our final destination. No? If you're here for an airship, I'm afraid all flights have been suspended until further notice. So this state of alert is still in effect. Perhaps it's for the best. That aside, we're not here for an airship. We have business at Mekadura. Oh, in that case, permit me to direct you. From here, it's quite simple, really. Ascend these steps and then continue straight ahead across the bridge. You can't miss it. Okay, so we did make it to... Apparently, where we're supposed to go. Ascend the steps and go straight across the bridge. Oh, all the way over there. Oh, so cool. We're actually going to get most of the... We have one there in Kama. That would be quite the run to get to, so we're not going to worry about that one right now. But we got a lot of them just by running around. No, Potion Master Yi, it isn't Triple Triad, which is shocking. Shocking. Oh, I haven't shown everyone this. Check this out, check this out, check this out, check this out, check this out. It's not Triple Triad, but we finished filling out the full first page. It's awesome. And then we got a lot more on the second page. We're just starting to go through them one by one, one by one. It's like some of these are like, I don't even know. Oh, that's right. You can get those down there. But where is it? On this page. Acquisition. What? Acquisition. What? I don't even... How am I supposed to... I just... What a, ah, how am I supposed to even know where to get to get the... the how the... Uh, whatever. But, um... These silver... Like, the platinum triad cards. Okay, I gotta... Apparently, I gotta go do the, the tournament stuff. And I'm not done the tournament stuff. So maybe we'll end the stream by going and doing a tournament if the timing is right. Uh, I remember passing here with Varshan. The situation being as it was, he regretted not being able to show us the sights. Life has yet to return to normal here, but when it does, you ought to pay another visit. Though the city is confusing, the food is quite good. I'm partial to Hamsa myself. The meat's surprisingly tender and flavorful. Well, we could uh, go get ourselves some Hamsa right now. <laughs> squack, squack! <laughs> what? You want to talk back? You want to talk back to a Sinian? That's what I thought. You don't mess with my boy, all right? The Sidian's cool. Can we get in there? Oh, we can. Oh, sweet. Hello. <laughs> we just walk around in their water. <laughs> Hi there. Chain, uh, don't mind me, all right? I'm not running around like a crazy person. You can just check out their little, their little nesting hovels. I bet there's some quests where you have to, like, go and get their eggs or whatever. Welcome to Nilopala, Nilopala, Nilopala Nourishments, where we specialize in the breeding of Hamsa, the traditional livestock of Thavnir. 
to ensure eggs and livestock of impeccable quality, were named for our founder, Nilopala, who was not only the Isle's foremost hamsa breeder, but also developed the method by which the beast's toxin glands may be removed to render their meat edible. A remarkable discovery, wouldn't you agree? Uh... It's any you didn't mention uh, poison glands. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't try to um, chop one up and cook it ourselves, because I definitely would have killed us. <laughs> That's like um, pufferfish. My wife and I were talking recently about pufferfish, and the, it's like, who who had the, the... How many people had to die some medieval age where some king was like, this fish... This fish that wants to murder everything and that looks like a cactus. I would like to eat it. Cook, cook me some fish. And then, of course, the king's not going to eat it himself. So he's like, page boy, eat this, you know, taste tester. And the taste tester dies. And they're like, well, just because he died doesn't mean the fish isn't edible. All right, cook, try again. Or, you know, he's like, you, you killed my taste tester. Executed. Get a new cook. All right, new cook. I need you to cook this fish. All right, taste tester, try it. And it's like, how many ta poor taste testers do you have to go through to figure out that that thing was actually, like, edible at all? I, w I would have just assumed that, like, the first person to die would be like, yep, this thing is inedible. Like, why would you, A, want to eat it? But I, I can see, you know, trying some weird stuff. And then you try it, and you're like, nope, nope, nope. It, it kills, so just don't even worry about it. Tournaments start every other Tuesday. But isn't there, um... There's, like, uh, local events that happen, like, every other hour, I think. At least when I was looking at it, it seemed like there was every other hour or something. But maybe I wasn't looking at the date. I was just looking at the uh, the time on it. So. <laughs> Tree Fitty. Tree Fitty Pages. Oh, her mask is really cool. I love the feathers. We wore an outfit that had feathers like that for a little bit. Greetings and welcome to Megadura. May I inquire after your business? We are members of the Signs of the Seventh Dawn. Come with the invitation of His Excellency. Of course. We've been expecting you. I'm glad. I was about to be like, we could just tell him. Yeah, you know, we're expected. Oh, sure. Okay. Because you say so. I will show you into the audience chamber. If you would please follow me. Angle, you're moving? Congratulations on your move. I hope it's going smoothly. <laughs> it's really good. I may, I may be dead as my face swells up. This really tastes great. His Excellency. It's like, let me get some yellow in my face. I'm very pale. Are we the last to arrive? I hope we've not kept you waiting. As, Gra as long as Graha is here, you're fine. Your comrade is feeling better, I trust. That's all that matters. Much better, thank you. Harness remedies are certainly potent in more ways than one. There are smaller tournaments every hour for about... Oh, they only last for about 20 minutes? Okay, that's actually really short. I thought they were a lot longer than that. For about 20 minutes. One becomes accustomed to the taste, although I hope you never have cause to do so. Pray, take your ease. Yeah, I definitely want to do some of the smaller tournaments. Are there cards exclusive to the really big ones every Tuesday? Full glad I am to see you all unharmed. Oh, full glad I am to see you okay. As I said, I would I would just up and quit if Graha died. Oh, awesome. So we can make more of those little talismans. Throughout the land were put to work in the forging of your talismans. The finished ones have been collected and now await you at the high crucible of Alchemia. Alchemia. Present this letter when you are ready to take them into your possession. Of course, Alfino gets it. Good. We are humbled by your generosity. 
know that the inventive wisdom of Radzat Han will be vital in restoring serenity to our star. Every single one of those scales came from you, didn't they? You must still be in such pain. Do you need some healing? Oh, whoa. Yeah, that does look really bad. It is of no moment. A mere annoyance compared to the dreadful suffering inflicted upon this land and its people. Still wouldn't uh wonder. Yeah, can you can you heal the scales back? I wonder. Brief. My involvement in the Dragon Song War afforded me a glimpse of the myriad sorrows which consumed both dragon and man. Though you were half a world away, such tragedies as befell your kin must have affected you deeply. He said, but brief. And I'm like, uh, the Dragon Song War lasted a while. Like, Heaven's Sword was not a small patch. I'm just saying. And yet, you chose to live among men. In the age when that conflict first bloomed, my choice had already been made. In some distant place, man slew dragon, and dragon slaughtered man. Yet no hate could I muster for those smiling faces which did look to me for guidance. Not even my brother's righteous rage could rally me to his cause. I huddled here, secret and still, hoping against hope that which I had built would remain untouched by the chaos and carnage. Of course, the Sinians found somewhere cool to lean. Twould seem we share the same desire for peace, Great Vritra. To that end, I wonder if we might trouble you with another question. The Telophoroi are intent on recreating the final days, an apocalyptic event which we know to predate the sundering of the star. As the longest lived among us, know you aught of this terrible... Oh, cosmos. she's smart for asking asking him because he, he's lived for, for a really long time. He might have at least heard of something about it. I thought Alfino had more involvement, but maybe not as much as I was remembering. We can ask Heidelin. That's actually just a question. Why doesn't Heidelin talk about it? Yeah, and she hasn't really given us a whole lot. But it's okay. We're tempered by her, so I mean, there's not really anything we can do about it. Seek you to divine the will of this star. If so, I have a tale which may afford you some small comfort. Oh. Is a story from my youth many, many years ago. To my sire, I once posed the question Of all the stars in the sky, why didst thou settle upon this one? To which Midgard Summer did reply, Twas the last bastion of hope. He believed so long as Hydaelyn endured. So too might dragonkind, solemn and portentous were his words. Portentous. What deeper meaning they held, I could not, dared not pursue. Tis a stone I've left unturned ever since. Interesting. Yet take you solace in the knowledge that whatsoever Hydralin does strive towards, tis an ideal which hath earned. Thank you, Vritra. You've given us warm reassurance in a world gripped by cold uncertainty. Trust in Heidelin. While I'm sure we all have a great many questions, I think it's time we collect the talismans and be on our way. 
Our fight against the Telophoroi is far from finished. It has only begun. Apparently, according to Dillian, there's a lot more left of Endwalker. But please do inform us if we can provide any further assistance. You giddy best girl. I mean, our girls are the best. All I said was that yeah, Heidelin was pretty and that I wasn't upset by our tempering. That's that's all. Pretty a moment. Though, uh, if Yagiri was a primal, uh, I wonder if we could re-temper in a different direction. There is one who my sire hath judged worthy of honor and respect. The one known to men as Eorzea's champion. This hero of renown and rumor tis thee. No, 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 you got the wrong person. It's actually Lalaki out in the lobby. We have crossed paths. Oh, I only wish he could be with us now. Yeah, I, I, I do wish that he was here so that he could, he could talk to his kid, you know? That'd be cool. I know of his clash with the Maker and the long slumber which was his price. Maybe one day he'll wake up. Is that a hint that he might come back in the future? That'd be so cool. Twas a revelation most pleasing that thou, a child of man, had gained amidst God's summer's trust. But alongside my elation runneth the rivulet of dread. Uh oh. For upon thy life's real wind too many threads of fate, power, wheel, enmeshed with woe. Hmm. Too many threads. Hold on now. Graha did say that some of the rooms at uh, Charlayan were great for naps, so I, I, I think we'll be okay. <laughs> but yeah, we are constantly. <gasps> yeah. Umbrida. Don't show harsh. Don't show harsh. <gasps> Papalimo. <gasps> Minfilia. I got the Minfilia card today. Harsh. You had to do that. Harsh is still alive. He's with us. He's hanging around outside. That's so sad. Midfield. Take heart and protect them well. They will be your strength and your salvation. The hope that will need come the end. What do you know about the end? We couldn't protect Menphilia. Ah, apologies. We haven't meant to interrupt. It's just that we do have a history of suddenly collapsing, and when you didn't follow us, <laughs> we went back to the first. I don't think it was idle. Go. At war's end, I pray I welcome thee back into my hall, where together with thy joyful comrades, you may toast your triumph. I mean, Karinica said that nothing bad happens, so I think we're okay. I think we're okay. We're all good. We're just going to get some new new glamour gear. We're going to dance with Xenos and uh, then Endwalker is going to end. So <laughs> Arch is alive for a little longer. Cons, you die horribly to Nidhogg. <laughs> no, no, Harsh is right here. See, Harsh is OK. We know that Harsh is OK because because he's been traveling with us as a, as a companion. See, Harsh is fine. 
Everything is fine. Now we gotta go find that Minfilia cosplayer and get her in, in, in here, alright? And Yazale. We, we gotta get everybody, alright? We need we need to do some uh we we need some fa fantasias going on up in here. <laughs> How do you end the end? Well clearly you just walk to it. So what were you and Brita talking about? <laughs> Brita? <laughs> Uh, too long to explain. Uh, nothing? Very well, if you say so. The others have gone ahead to the High Crucible. Let's catch up with them. You're talking about how I don't want any of you to die, alright? So wear your talismans. Stay safe. Don't get tempered by Zodiac. We're gonna eat some bread. The attendant was kind enough to give me directions to the High Crucible. First, let us return to the Mulberry Orchard. What's kind of cool, though, is that... Uh, you're, you're kind of getting an interesting story here where in nearly every other location, people that we've partied with in the Scions have known about the locations. And they're like, hey, follow me here, follow me there. We'll go here, we'll go there. Um, but other than Astinian, basically everyone else is brand new here. And so it's a lot of like, oh, well, we had to talk to this attendant. They had to get directions to go over here. It's new for a lot of the Scions this time around. From here, we're supposed to follow the path to the left, past the mulberries. Oh, I should have talked to Alfie now. Miri! Ah! <laughs> Going charging past. Alright, so we've gotten a lot of these. But we gotta go over here to Kama, which we might do now since we're in this area. I think we go down the steps over the bridge. Alfino, you know, what are your thoughts? So apparently the word yuj means bind in the local tongue. And this district is so named because it connects all the others in the city. If we manage to come this far, we shouldn't have trouble finding the High Crucible. Or so I was told. Where the street turns, enter the door straight ahead, then descend the steps. I thought the Crystarium was confusing, but it isn't even compared to Razatan. The architecture and decorations make it even harder to get your bearings. Let's see where this door takes us. And uh, we're going to maybe go a different direction. We'll catch up with you in a minute. Is this where we can go through? Harsh is speeding on ahead. Oh, I love this stuff. I build this stuff in Minecraft all the time. Little bridges over pathways. I wonder if you could jump down there from up here. The blue bricks painted. It's such a, a weird like aesthetic. <gasps> Hello, kids. Uh, I'm not gonna be creepy. Sorry. No, I was just saying hi. I'm not. I'm not weird. <laughs> um. But the the. It's a it's a very weird aesthetic if you think about it. Blue bricks, right? But because everything is so painted and so colorful, it kind of works out. Hey, I'm just going to charge into your house and ask you what's up. My grain and spice stores are running low. Yet, what if in my rush to buy them, I deprive those who truly need them? I mean, it is a quandary, but you can always resell them. If you come across somebody who needs them more later, then you'll at least have the stock of them, right? <laughs> those NPCs had such cool outfits. Man, they had such good glams. <laughs> We're getting the last one here. Devaz. What is happening behind me? <laughs> Someone's trying to murder me in the middle of the street, the alley. Help, guards! Trade is at a standstill and foodstuffs are in short supply. We've begun distributing emergency rations so people don't starve, but we'll run out before long. Right, because Razit Han deals so heavily in trade, but that should be fixed now that the tower's not here. We should be good. Trade should should come back. Oh, we can we can just. Oh no, I wanted to test the bridge. We'll go we'll go test the bridge out real quick. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But um, we'll take the the Ethernet. The Ethernet. Hello, hello, Pidge. <gasps> we can Whoa, whoa. Oh, we missed the other floor up there. Uh oh. Oh no, we were supposed to come down here. This is down the down the stairs. Wait a minute. 
Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hey, Pitch, how you doing? It's late. Very late up here. How do you end the, end the letter D, of course? <laughs> oh. Uh, what's going on here? Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Just walking through. Walking through. Okay, I shouldn't do this. But I'm crazy, so I'm going to do it anyway. Is that grassy area over here an area that you can actually get to? Probably not, right? If there's an NPC you can talk to, I would assume so, but... That doesn't look like an area. That's really cool. Imagine that, like, they built this whole thing just for you to see from this bridge. That does look like an area you could walk around. I don't know how we get to it, though. It's all right. We'll go back down. Let's see here. If I... The... Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, nope, there's an invisible wall we hit. All right, good to know. We tried. Here's Aetherite Plaza. So far, so good. There isn't much further to go. From here, we just need to cross the other side of the hall, then pass through the larger of two doorways. The High Crucible lies just beyond. I suspect the others have already collected the warding scales. Come on, let's join them. I bet the Aetherite, though, is still off limits. Unfortunately. But yeah, other than like the starting three cities, it's very rare to find a place that's as hopping as this is. Still disabled. How lame. How lame. Oh, we do have one more. We haven't gotten this one. The High Crucible one. It's true. Jalzema. Jalzema! You have business with one of the Satrap's alchemists at the High Crucible. Visit if you must, but you would do well to hold your nose if pungent chemical odors are not to your liking. Well, thanks for the, uh, thanks for the heads up. Though this land hath been afforded a respite, in turmoil do many others languish still. Our work is far from finished. Always the dour one, Arianje. Took your time. Got turned around, I take it? Oh! <gasps> Thank Red! <laughs> how, how, how could you, you just... <laughs> They cut me down, bro. <laughs> ah, that was really mean. That was really mean. Yes, I took my time, but I, I, I was doing some research, okay? It's fine. It's fine. Wow. Look at that thing. The spinning purple eyes of doom. So is is that like the savage boss of some fight? Right? He just all the little like tentacle arms that are in the wall just pop out and start slapping you around. Wait a minute though. That all those tubes and everything, that looks eerily similar to the top of the tower. The thing we destroyed at the top of the tower. It doesn't have the orange glowing spots, but that shape and the tubes and everything? That's not dissimilar to the top of the tower, I'm just saying. Whoa. What evil experimentation is going on in here? Ah! Oof! Look at all that. Oh, do you? Can you? Oh, I thought this was a player for a second. I was like, can you actually craft stuff here? But no. I bet the if you, for for crafters though, this is a big crafting place. Eventually, it can buy all sorts of potion stuff. You've attuned all of the aetherites, which is great, except that uh. Yeah, see, you're buying something. Whoa, with your spectral samurai sword? Look at that thing. That's awesome. Uh, they're just making, like, intinctions, and... This is probably just a big uh, beer hall. It's actually just all, all types of alcohol and beer. 
they color code it so it's easy to uh, know which type is which. The jumping puzzle. No work tomorrow, Pidge? That's awesome. Enjoy your break. I actually don't have work tomorrow either. It was a shock and surprise. It was really a nice surprise because I have a ton of stuff I got to get done at the house. So it was really, really nice to have tomorrow off. Excellent. You're in time to hear the latest good news. There's good news. The students have previously turned to Razat Han's alchemist for help with the anal analysis of various artifacts. This is how I became acquainted with Nidhana. I'm glad we could rescue her and pray she makes a full recovery. Estinian, you're always leaning against something. As I heard it, you defeated Nidhogg. His scales found their way into the hands... Oh, as I heard it, after you defeated Nidhogg, his scales found their way into the hands of the firmament's artisans. Steeped in power as they are, it's no surprise that they were coveted. Still, it is a strange legacy for the vengeful worm. That's actually an interesting thing that we hadn't really considered was what happened to the scales of dragons that we've defeated like like Nidhogg and so it's kind of cool that he would comment on it that's what he was thinking about with the scale conversation I'm quite well now I assure you as they say the stronger the taste and stranger the color the more effective the remedy with my body trying to replenish the ether I spent however I'm feeling rather famished I think a sampling of the local delicacies is in order Hamsa cuisine would be a good place to start perhaps I heard it's very spicy, but tastes quite good. We're last, of course, but at least he found the place. Got a level 90 tank who didn't use a single mitigation? What? How do they get to 90 without using mitigations? Yes, and I made a quick count. There are far more than we could have hoped for. Oh, nice. I like the little sticker. Enough to outfit an entire company of soldiers, in fact. Considering the involved process, that they were able to manufacture so many in such a short span of time is nothing short of a miracle. Glad you survived that, Holo. Once we have distributed them to our allies in Eorzea and the Far East, we'll have a fighting chance to bring down the other spires, just as we did with the Tower of Zot. Zot! And there's one for each of the Eorzean companies, except for Ishgard. And strike directly at the Teloporoi's base of operations. Oh, you're still thinking big. Yeah, a box for Gridania, box of for need to consult with various alliance Thanalan. Such a drastic measure could even be contemplated. But Ishgard's out of luck. To which end, I could set out forthwith and present the idea to each of our allies in person. Pray allow me to undertake some few of those journeys. I find myself restless and in need of purposeful duties. Oh, you're not the tongue twister usually. Bosnia and Dalmasca are just a short hop from here. And Doma's Shinobi network should come in handy for passing on the world. Kikiri! We shall share the burden then. What do we do then? Meanwhile, I think it best that you and the others take the talismans back to the Baldessian Annex. We must keep them safe and secure until we've decided upon a course of action. Oh, yeah, we don't want some Asian showing up and stealing them away. Please, I must speak with you. Nidhana! You're alive and well. Last time we saw you, you were taking a nap on the beach. See, Katara was right. Nothing bad happens. You're awake. I mean, sorry, Karinika was right. <laughs> yes, when I spoke with the carer at my bedside, she told me that one of the scions, a young woman, had cleansed me of the Tao's corruption. It seems I've been asleep ever since the treatment. But when I awoke and learned you were all still here, I knew I had to come. Good timing. We're about to leave. Elise, you did it. As you said, Nidana was captured only recently. Such a brief exposure is swiftly cured, so I tended to her before we gathered at Megaduta. Megaduta. And I am truly grateful that you did. I cannot thank you enough. Yamina yeah, knows the proper tank rotations. Thank you for everything you've done. Destroying the tower, rescuing our people. You saved Havnir from an awful fate. Yeah. <laughs> God's little fist bump. 
small part to thine inspirational courage. The alchemists were successful in reproducing warding scales of proven efficacy. Replications of thy work now stand ready to travel across the seas unto the hands of those who might wield them against this rising evil. Yamita is a very good trainer. I'm glad that I went through the uh, paladin training. Talisman? Is this true? It is true. Now we have so many questions. Okay, we got we got the moon, obviously, which is meaningless, but but so crazy. But we also have to deal with these oh, body so parts in the towers. Like what? Oh, our great work sent across the seas. It was worth it. Oh, it was all worth it. Great voice acting. Oh, the flower from Heidelin. Look at that. Its color is completely changed. The yellow, the color of joy. What do you have there? The fancy flower that Kryl was taken over by Heidelin to be able to chat with How us about. Unusual. I wonder if the effect is a reaction to Akasha. Akasha? I'm afraid I'm not familiar with that term. Akasha? Well, oh, Paige, you really think so? One of the unseen energies defined by Hanish alchemical theory. That's so sweet of you to say, Pidge. I, I don't think so, but I, I really appreciate that. That's very sweet of you to say. Unseen energies defined by Hanish alchemical theory. Describe it as an essence influenced by feeling. You imply that it is distinct from ether. Don't get your hopes up too high, Mamita. But we see them as separate concepts. Ether is an energy which permeates the land. It exists within animals, objects, even the air we breathe, affecting all through which it flows. There's a spiritual Akasha, thing. On the other hand, exists in a domain beyond our reach. <laughs> Your stole's face. Restored from on high or torn from the heavens in some tradition. <laughs> I love that it was just <laughs> over your stole's face. <laughs> we don't get to see her face. Akasha can neither be created nor destroyed. It is beyond our power to purposefully alter or manipulate. Interesting. The only thing observed to influence it is an abundance of, I want to say, spiritual emotion. As a veteran of the battlefield, surely you've experienced moments of desperation or exaltation when you've transcended the usual limits of your capability. Is that a callback to ARR? Whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute. You transcend the limits of your capabilities? That's definitely way back in ARR. Uh, the Ultima that fight. Is a manifestation of Akasha, the invisible essence harnessed by heart, mind, and unyielding spirit. And that's separate from Ether. We really must hear more about this theory. Our disciplines are based entirely upon the idea that Ether is the fundamental form of all energy. Ether is the fundamental form of all energy. I'm glad my haphazard explanation has piqued your interest. But even for us, Akasha is a somewhat abstract field of study. A lack of practical application lends itself poorly to formalized research. Which is why my analysis of your flower can amount to little more than idle speculation. I am sorry. If only we had the flower when we were fighting Ultima, we would know so much more. You have nothing to be sorry for. Your insight is much appreciated. Standing there holding the flower. Shall we depart for Charlian then? I will see to it that the talismans arrive at the annex. And we will be in touch once our talks are concluded. I suggest you rest while you can. 
From here onward, sleep is bound to be in short supply. Yeah, who needs sleep? We're all night gamers. Let's go. Pidge, uh, we'll wait until my first savage before you say uh, talent, all right? <laughs> we'll hold off. I've not never done an, an actual savage. I've done I've done one extreme, all right? Maybe maybe we could squeak by and do another extreme at some point, but I still appreciate the compliment. That's really sweet of you. Last thing I remember before being absorbed into the tower was you rushing towards me. I could only imagine the hardship you and yours must have had to overcome to rescue us. No amount of words would suffice to express my gratitude. But I hope the flower's radiant glow says everything I cannot. We were supposed to to trust in the flower to kind of help guide us. So we'll... Uh, I really wish that we could just pull out the flower. Like we had it hanging around and we could just pull it out and check it out like an emote or something. Okay, let's try these on. Oh, oh, that's kind of cool. And these are better earrings, so we'll go ahead and equip the earrings. Um, what do the earrings look like? We can't even see them. They're invisible. Oh, no, the ring. Was that a ring? I don't, don't even see it here. Oh, it's because we're still looking in the try-on. <laughs> we're still looking in the, the try-on area. I think it was... I have no idea. Joker. Yeah, this is all augmented Crypt Lurker stuff. Did I not equip... Oh, now I'm equipping the pants. I'm equipped the wrong thing. Trousers offending. Oh, these are the pants and those are the boots. Oh, I'm such a goober. Let's see, equip these. So we have the, the pants and the boots. I'd be really curious on seeing what the fending shirt is. Whoa, we're like wearing heels. What the heck? Literally, we're practically wearing stilettos. It's technically not even touching the floor. We're on our tippy toes. I guess in, in this outfit, you want the extra two inches of height. <laughs> Your heels not even touching the ground. That's so funny. That's ridiculous. Got stilettos. Um, what we'll do is... It's diable too? Hang on, let me see what the dial looks like. Now I can't see these, but like, dancing heels. Whoa! The whole thing! See, there's some stuff that like... You, you go to dye it, and like, only some, some very small amount of it actually gets changed in the dye. But this is like, the whole thing turns this shiny color and it that's not even like chromatic like the chromatic is even crazier that's wild and then it goes back to purple but even these the purple just turns like to a gray huh fascinating uh what we're gonna do is we're gonna glamour plate we're gonna change our glamour to this anyway so we'll switch over to that and uh if we get the rest of it, I'm very interested in checking out the rest of the the glam, so. Amp up the clemency, nice. Oh, definitely accept friend request for Miri. Waiting for Miri to just run by again. Ah! <laughs> it turned around, and there's a Miri running by. Hey there. Uh, you make me laugh so much. I love it. <laughs> I was just talking about it. Turn around. There you are. <laughs> I'm surprised you weren't running. All right. We got to go. We got to go this way again. We got to go to the house. Time to check in with the house. All right. So this is all stuff that I'm eventually probably going to sell off. There's a bunch of answers. Does anyone want... Snurbel tufts or boar hide or bat fangs before I, I sell them all. Hi, Kryle. It's good to be back and with the fruit of our labors safely in storage. For now, we have but to wait for the others to return from their respective meetings with the Alliance leaders. As Thancred suggested, you should get some rest in the meantime. Uh, what's also fascinating is that. 
Well, I should have eaten that, but I think we're probably going to have to run the same dungeon a couple of times to get the rest of the gear. Um, which will be kind of a pain, but that's okay. We'll find some time to do that. Maybe tomorrow when I have some time off. No, I'm going to I've got like yard work and housework. It's crazy. But maybe we'll have some time when Junior's taking a nap, so. The extra heals is so funny, especially because technically the bottom isn't quite touching the ground. Welcome back, Jake. Kryle has apprised me of your recent accomplishments. What an amazing feat to eliminate a tower and pave the way to deal with the rest. While there isn't much, I've changed your sheets and plumped up your pillow that your horns can then poke new holes in. After all, there's nothing like collapsing on a nice clean bed before or after completing a major milestone. I love that. It's a milestone. Be it penning a thesis or defeating deform entities. Deform entities. So would you like to take a look at your new and improved lodgings now? Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? And we get an Archon Loaf as well. Maybe the Loaf will give us some of that. Oh, I bet we're going to have a chat with Heidelin. I bet we're going to have a chat with Heidelin. Oh, it's a flower. Put it on the bedside table. But it's not yellow anymore. It's back to being kind of the white gray. Oh, what a beautiful view. Take heart and protect them well. Oh, I was for a second. I was like, Midgar Summer? But no. Oh, is somebody going to come in and steal the flower? Why are we leaving it there? <gasps> Hi, everyone. Yes, you're here. You haven't eaten yet, have you? No, definitely not. We've bought quite a spread if you're interested. Only the finest dining from the last stand. She's so precious. Everyone just looking up expectantly. Oh, we got burgers? That's right. There are burgers in Eorzea. I could go for a really good burger. And pizza? Burgers and pizza? This is the best spread ever! Now I want a burger. Graha, you're making me so jealous. <laughs> you remove your pickles, Alisa, you monster. Pickles are the best. All right, raise your hand in chat if you're a pickle eater. Right? Pizza and burgers? Lest you wonder, we invited Astinian as well. But he refused with a rather grim-faced, no thank you. I suspect Charlian cuisine is not to his liking. Pizza and burgers? What could not be to his liking? <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. Perhaps our lone wolf just... And cookies? Apart. These are the best foods right here. But to perfect his brooding stare. Next time, I'll drag him out by the ear, sit him down in front of a Charlian feast, and see that he eats every last bite. I think we're now... Three for two. Excellent idea. Of all people, warriors must take proper meals and rest if they are to maintain a healthy constitution. Poor Astinian, beset on all sides. Right? Chocolate chip cookies as well? What a fantastic feast. Yeah, this is the third meal. Uh, and, you know, Speaking of one's the, everything was okay. Mistress. And two are bad. I hear. You recently played literal host to Heidelin herself. Oh, and what an experience that was. Tiring, yes, but no lasting harm done. If anything, I should have liked to speak with her longer. I've not felt a hint of her presence since. She's growing weaker. Heidelin instructed you to carry that flower. Yes? The one that I just abandoned by the side of the bed, yes. <laughs> yes, a good meal by with some guide. Test And one more. Of your conviction. And then something about seeking joy in darkness, was it? And uh in Yul not Yulmore, How but the Crystarium. Isn't that what happened with Nidana back in Rods at Hall? The flower did seem to radiate a joyful glow, as if reflecting the elation we all felt. The relief of a people with renewed hope. 
Oh, and there's donuts too? Indeed. And in turn, I felt buoyed by that radiance. It was akin to spotting a beacon and knowing we were on the right path. We destroyed a beacon and got a different beacon. Triumphed over the Tlofroy, or learned the full breadth of the forum's plans. But even within the midst of our struggles, we find small moments of joy to sustain us. Rare and hard won, perhaps, but it is this pursuit of happiness that gives us the strength to carry on day after day. Hey, that's mine. To the swift, the spoils. Though I recall that levitation spell of yours was quick enough. To grab everyone, too. Mm, only barely. And even at my best, I'm still too slow to wield it effectively in battle. It's not a battle Perhaps spell, I though. require more practice with this new magic. You unearthed it from the depths of Numenon, I presume. I am from a veritable mountain of arcane tomes at that. It was necessary to facilitate my solitary explorations. Or, to put it simply, you used it to sneak around the Forbidden Archives. I... Uh, yes, well, after a fashion. Oh, so that's how he got really, 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 really deep was because he used the, the levitation spell to kind of allow him to float down to the lower floors. The shelves, they're too tall for me. And I could hardly move the library's platforms without attracting attention now, could I? That's why we're tall. <laughs> oh, unless he used it on the books. He might have used it to uh, levitate the books so that, that way he could uh, grab them. You left the chocolate donut? That's for me. Definitely me. <laughs> At least a single pickle on the, the uh, plate. You take the pickles off and eat them separately. I'm definitely a, a pickle enjoyer. If other people get rid of their pickles, I uh, I eat the pickles. I usually put them on uh, on my sandwich. Are we pushing on till dawn? Shall we call it a night? You know these are my quarters, right? Uh, definitely my quarters. That's that's really good. Uh, though we did finally get to see the moon once in the the end of the Endwalker, before the end of Endwalker. Did you think we were here? <laughs> Surrender to thy fate, O oh champion. What? <laughs> you guys, you guys got to get out of here, all right? I'm supposed to take a nap. Oh? <laughs> Aww. So it's glowed yellow and now green. You eat the lemon with the rind? Seraphe, what? What? I love that Xenos went the Reaper. That's so sick. And so in line with his character. Ah, enjoying the bracing cold, I see. Do you not own a warm coat or a cloak? Something in fur, or fashioned from the skins of your enemies, or, well, never mind that. Did the voice actor change? The voice seems different. I could be crazy, but yeah, no, uh, green is definitely the color of, of friends for sure. We got, we got a couple people in, in the uh, discord that definitely like the color green. I don't know why, but yeah, we do. Uh, and then definitely rinds are very weird. I get that the rind has like more vitamins than the rest of the you know fruit, if you will. But uh, no, nope, 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 nope. The green part is strawberries. Nope, nope. I'm out. I'm out. No, I'm good. I'm 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 totally good. <laughs> the leaves of the strawberry that ruins it. It that's like that's like sour. You get the sweetness of the strawberry, and then you're eating the like the sour core part. Ugh. You eat the apple rind, Holo? 
What? <laughs> I come to you once more as the bearer of bad news. Our tower in Savnir has been toppled, and I need not tell you by whom. The apple skin? How horrid. Given how many we have at our disposal, the loss of a single spire is hardly fatal to our plans. It does, however, slow the rate at which we siphon the ether. Uh, I do not eat cantaloupe with salt, but I hear that watermelon with salt can be fairly good. I've not tried that either, but uh, that's what I've heard, so. Good source of fiber? Uh, I, I will, I'll take your opinion and, uh, not engage. If they Paprika? What? The towers, then all will be well. But should our foe prove bold enough to strike at us here, then the timing becomes questionable. Questionable. That was what Yishtola was saying. Was that we just come attack straight here? Our foe is bold enough. Of that, I can assure you. Ah, uh, yes. Very well, then. I suppose I must prepare a proper welcome. Honestly, talk of your nemesis is the only thing you seem to enjoy. Does nothing else spark your interest? Hmm. No. All else is equal. Equally boring. Equally tedious. Equally disappointing. The world is a tepid bog into which we sink, too weak to thrash as the mud clings to our eyes and fills our throats till we blissfully choke. What a poet. <laughs> but then came the light. Blinding and pure and hot, so very hot, enough to set my soul aflame. I basked in the afterglow until the void yawned once more. And then I knew the muck would never claim me again. There was naught for me ahead, so I drew the curtain on all that had come before. Burn. Let the whole star burn. I will have my contest. I will reclaim my moment. It's all about the fight. <laughs> ben Daniel's speechless? How wonderful that the emptiness of death has not dissuaded you from committing your life to its pursuit once more. I don't know whether to envy you or pity you. You question my disinterest, but what of yours? Despite your noisome antics, I sense you take little pleasure in this endeavor. Mercy, my lord. Such pointed barbs from one who barely acknowledges my existence. Nevertheless, you're pretty ignorable. You are mistaken. For I do find this part somewhat enjoyable. You see, when I was mortal, I would always have the same dream. It was a fragmented thing. Disjointed. All the faces incomplete. The setting, too, was unknown to me. So I thought it simply a fantasy of my sleeping mind. Until one day, I realized it was showing me the truth. Much as your dream of the final days enlightened you. He had a dream of the final days. But does that mean that Heidel and Awoken him as well? The rest of the world will see the truth of my dream too. Yes. I think that is something we can both enjoy. Wouldn't the, the final days comments be basically awaken uh, the light in everyone and turn everyone into being tempered by Heidelin? No? Am I wrong about that? 
Also, uh, is there a giant battery somewhere that we can plug Heidelin into and and give her some some power back? I'm not ready for a nap, but I do want to retire to the room because I want to uh, check out and see if the flower is still there or not. Kestrian, the unending journey. It's cool though; it's right there by the uh, by the book. All right, we're good. Graha. I hope you don't mind us barging into your room for our late night feast. For what it's worth, it did me a world of good to put our troubles to one side, if only for a moment. <gasps> we get gear. Oh, there you are. Feeling refreshed, I hope. I was about to make my way to the studium, as it happens. I wanted to try and speak with the scholar, Like, scholar, but scholarch. Scholar? Monty Shane. Monty Shane. And thank him for coming to our rescue in the Rostra. As it turns out, he'd come to see us following the hearing, only to find that we'd already departed for Thavnir. Knowing him, he was probably hoping to chew the curd from his former students. We're still waiting for Ishtola and the others. I thought now the perfect time to pay a visit. Care to join me? Then it's settled. The twins will be coming too, assuming Alfie no can tear himself away from his new toys. I'll let you rally the troops while I go on ahead to the Phenomenon. Considering my recent impropriety, perhaps I should avoid showing my face around the studium for a time? That might be for the best. If the others should return, tell them we will not be long. Where is Alfino playing with his toys? Man, I'm kind of sad. Like, we had that conversation just now. But, like, what if we were out here and, and he was just over here, like, pew, 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 pew. Oh, there he is! <laughs> you killed L uh, Lalaki! What have you done? <laughs> you shot Lalaki. I literally was just saying. Look at it. That's so cool, though. He's got the target as well. We're going to distract him real quick. A father, if father can master these fiendish contraptions, then so can I. <laughs> Zing! <laughs> hey, God. Uh, where is uh, our like shock evote? Isn't there a general emote? Yeah, there you go. Hey, I'm gonna move closer. Wait, go back, Lolicky. Go back! I was gonna G-pose it. Alaki! <laughs> I wanted a picture to give every- there we go. Lolita's just looking away. <laughs> like, yep, yeah, nothing's fine. Everything's fine. Alright, so if we just do two, then it'll just be. No, hang on, one more. <laughs> Mary and, and Lolita are like, just we're looking away. What? What? I don't see nothing. I don't see nothing. <laughs> nothing's going on here. <laughs> Alfino slaughtering our friends. Let's see, how many outfits do we have that are green here? Only two today, but uh, well, I guess three. Lavava's got a little green going on as well. Just a little. Heading up for a stroll. Uh, just a little bit. Heading over to the studium. The Scholar Arc himself is here. In that case, what are we waiting for? I, too, am eager to see him, though I somewhat dread the thought of visiting the studium. I dare say our notoriety precedes us. Alfino, you know, of all people worrying over reputation, and at our alma mater, at our alma mater, no less, will wonders never cease. You'll understand soon enough. Off we go. Alma mater? I don't know what that is. Does anybody else know what alma mater is? Karunica in green. In green armor, nonetheless. Not just a green outfit, but green armor, too. Oh, we can we can take the, the Aether Shard, which I always forget, so. Happy Meal Toys! <laughs> Look, Ma! 
I got a yo-yo. The school, Alma Matur, the college or university. Okay. Alma Matur, the sister of Tom, <laughs> Tomato, <laughs> Alma Mater, and Tom Mater. <laughs> That's it from now on. Alma Mater. <laughs> All right. Uh, I got to talk to Kral outside. I ran in too fast. I'm running around. We got also got to change outfit over. We're no longer killing stuff. <laughs> Here it is. Phenomenon. Well, I expect you made note of it before. One can hardly miss it. This is the first time you've been here on official business, correct? At least for me. While most of the space is taken up by the expansive auditoriums, it also houses numerous laboratories, testing grounds for experimental magics, and a host of administrative offices, and so forth. As the center of what would later become the studium, it was established to promote the study of atheological phenomena, hence the name. Though the ether being a fundamental aspect of nature, its scope expanded to include every conceivable facet of life, even the universe itself. And then in the 460... Sorry, I can totally read. 432nd year of the 6th astral era, phenomenon was decreed complete and the studium officially opened as a place of learning. You just know this. That's like a Graha lore drop that uh, I was expecting. With a long and storied history, it is without question the world's leading authority in etherology, the arcane, the occult, astronomy, and countless other fields, standing proud as a Charlayan's foremost educational institute. Stole his thunder. You always did enjoy giving the grand tour to new students. Indeed, I've long since lost track of how many times he has recited that same foppish speech, such as his undying love for his old stamping ground. He was in top form back then, youngest to enter the studium, graduated with the highest honors in magical arts and etherology, undisputed champion of the debating chamber. Hold on, you both joined the studium at the same age, yes? From where I stand, you're equally prodigious scholars. Nice of you to say, but Alfino actually entered half a year before me, nor did I do well enough to graduate with honors, and I am certainly not the studium's most notorious master debater. In all respects, have I ever been his shadow? If nothing else, just remember that this was where the legend Alfino Levelure began. We should expect everyone to be fully aware of our recent escapades. Hopefully we'll be somewhat more welcome here than we were in the last stand. I know better than anyone the adoration the student body has for Alfino, and with a bit of luck it might work to our advantage. I'm glad we looked the part then. Well, there's no time like the present. First things first, let's look for the Skalark Montechain. Other facilities tend to frequent their offices, but unfortunately for us, he's fond of wandering wheresoever his whims take him. Let's split up and ask the students if they've seen him. Haha, <laughs> nerd! <laughs> he was the master debater. What was the cat doing in the... <laughs> the cat was just hanging out in the waterfall. <laughs> out of all places for the uh, cat to hang out. Oh, script exchange. Uh, yes, I have a copy of uh, Midsummer Moon. I'd like to exchange it for um, the Wizard of Oz, please. No, oh, oh, script exchange, not script exchange. Sorry, sorry, I misread your name. <laughs> that was Alfinu Levillure, wasn't it? The Alfinu Levillure? And he's with his sister and Master Baldessian's granddaughter. This can only mean one thing. An event of epic shattering proportions is fast approaching. Spread the word! Very excitable fellow. Oh, sorry. You said you were looking for the Skalark, yes? Knowing him, he could be anywhere. But Miss... Alia po should have a better idea. Alia po. Miss Alia po. Miss Alia po. Any luck, Alize? Things are bad enough during our school days, and Alfino's time abroad has only heightened his fame. Or should that be infamy? He had rivals and detractors, of course, but most of them gave up that after his adoring fans set upon them like ravenous dogs. Alfino, on the other hand, never paid them much notice. They were simply beneath him. Man, it's making Alfino- Oh my gosh! 
He spoke to me. He actually spoke to me. Alpino, I have my babies. Hey, <laughs> God. We're joining in the crowd. <laughs> Lalika, are you fighting him? <laughs> No, look over here. Wait, can I not freeze NPCs? Oh, you can't freeze NPCs. Wow, I didn't know this. Okay, interesting. That's good to know. You can only only freeze uh, people. Hey, Alfino, how, how are your fans doing? I assure you, I'll tell you about it after my business with the Skylark has concluded. The Skylark? Tell me, my good boy, does this have something to do with saving the world from catastrophe? Might we turn our attention to Massey Lewis' graduation thesis? I, too, have my doubts regarding our policy of non-intervention. Is it true that your experience overseas are the reason you have incurred the ire of the Forum? Oh, what I wouldn't give to see you butt heads with those old coggers. That's awesome. It's kind of a reverse of, uh... Uh, in Harry Potter... Oh my gosh, now I'm totally forgetting. Draco Malfoy! It's like the reverse Draco Malfoy. Everyone's a huge fan of him instead of like thinking he's just a snob. My princess, my queen. So long as I can continue my research with you, I am in bliss. Wait, who are you talking about? You're definitely not talking about me. So long as I can continue my research with you, I am in bliss. This will make sense later. Frey Sion. Frey Sion. My queen. For a second, I saw the pink hair. I was like, oh, Minfilia? No. No. No, Minfilia. Okay, we gotta go through these doors. There's too many doors. Through here and into the study. Whoa. Searchers meet. We got a literal tree growing in here. It's pretty cool, actually. Look at all this. Whoa, fish tank. No fish, though. Quick, throw a Lala in. We'll get a fish in here. Don't worry. The Lala needs a bath anyway. All right. Ki Aliepo. Ki Aliepo. She's got cool hair. Are you lost? Wandering up the street, perhaps? Wow, I look that bad, huh? Jeez. Wait, don't tell me. You're a trainee gleaner, fresh off the guild ship. I'm right, aren't I? Uh, you can call me that. Oh, how silly of me. An orientation is in order. <clears throat> Allow me to bid you a warm welcome to the searcher's meet. She's really cute. I like her outfit. Let me start with a question. What is the most important thing you'll find in the studium? That's right. Books. And what's the second most important? Why, that's simple. Everything else. That's what we deal with here at the searcher's meet. Whenever our students or tutors find themselves in need of equipment or materials, they come to us. If we don't have it in our stores, we send the gleamers off to find it. Honestly, you wouldn't believe some of the requests we get. I a piece of this, tongue of Jaya toad that, and it's enough to make your hair stand on end. Which is possibly what some of our students are trying to accomplish, this being a school of magic and all. Our newest gleaner, and you'll have your work cut out for you, but I think you'll find it quite rewarding. The only thing I'm interested in gleaning is information on the Skullark's whereabouts. I've tracked down many miscellaneous knickknacks in my time, but I'm no gleaner. I mean, that's true, too. We actually have a bunch of stuff that I don't know uh, what to do with, so... Um, we're trying to find the Skullark's whereabouts. A, a little bit straight to the point. I beg your pudding? You're not a gleaner? Then this, this is all an elaborate ruse? No, wait. Come to think of it, you never actually claimed to be one in the first place. Oh, my mistake. He was here, but now he's not. I did speak with him shortly before he arrived, though. He said he was on his way to Maker's Meet. Go back the way you came in, and you'll see it on the opposite side of the entrance. It's a laboratory of sorts, home to many rare and expensive curios, not to mention alarming frequent accidents. If you lose your way, just follow the blood-curling screams. <laughs> ha! 
in the tiny secret view to tell you all of this, the scholar has probably already left. Best of luck finding him. I have a feeling that you're going to need it. I loved her, like, like bright energy. And she's just like, oh, you're a gleaner. Let me tell you all about the school. Finding a worthy gleaner is proving tougher than I thought. Maybe I'm not suited to this line of work. No! Aww. No, no, no. You were great. It was a great introduction. I'm sorry. I just, I just happened this time to not be the right person that you needed to talk to. Next one will be perfect. Oh, we got another Tia here. Check it out. Talaka Tia. Talaka. Ooh, the hallway's nice. Look at this hardwood floor. I bet they wax this. This looks really good. nice. All right, across the hall. Follow the screams. Makers meet. We got a furnace. So I don't even know what those are. <gasps> Nobody's here. We're just gonna have to slash wait. Oh, we can cook. Hey, we can cook a lala. Oh, we can't get up on there. <gasps> this would have been perfect to throw Lala in the pot. Time to cook a Lala. Why are we... What? Oh, I guess that's just to move logs because I got the saw here for, for wood stuffs. Yeah, it kind of goes back and forth. Weird. Very strange. Uh, excuse me, level-headed student. Are you level-headed? Definitely does look fairly level. Doesn't seem to be tilted. Yet the scholar, yes, the scholar was here a short while ago. He offered me advice on my current research project. Though we spoke at length, I don't recall him mentioning where he was planning to go next. When we parted ways, he went down the corridor. Perhaps one of the auditoriums. We gotta chase this guy down. The longer I stand, you know, spend standing around looking at hardwood floor. Unsurprisingly, the scholar is not in his office. I did, however, speak with one student who saw him not long ago, so he can't have gone far. Now, this is one auditorium. Passer Merent? It is quite rare to meet an outsider with such a curious mind as yours. Classes are not currently in session, but when they are, this place is filled with sounds of students exchanging ideas and soaking up new knowledge. But that would affect their ethereal conductivity. But what? You don't look like a student. This isn't a learner's meet. Get out of here, you weirdo! So sorry. So sorry. Excuse me. So sorry. You seem a bit burdened with work. Shall I lend you a hand? Uh... Are you only saying that because you think she's cute? Or are you actually trying to help? Like, that totally sounded like, uh... A guy trying to make moves. Yithub Tia. Yithub Tia. My friend doesn't turn up soon. It'll be late for the lecture. He'd have been here two bells early if it weren't for one of Professor Mikoto's classes. Mikoto? I do kind of recognize Mikoto name. It's another Tia. We got Tias all over the place. Tia here, Tia there. Is Alfino still out here with his adoring fans? He is. <laughs> still cheating him on. Only kind of... Professor Mikoto. Forgot her? Oh no, who did I forget now? <clears throat> no, who did I forget? Professor Mikoto. What? Professor Mikoto. The cute aura? The evil lease rates. Oh! On the, the airship. The big airship that was over uh, uh, Kugane. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, I kind of recognize the Mikoto name, but I didn't realize that she was a professor. But yes, the, the like, researcher. I have uh, a lot of screenshots. Let's just say that. <laughs> oh, you can't sit in every chair. Oh, that's cool. Wait, so that's... I wonder if I'll actually get to meet her here. That'd be cool if she actually showed up and had a conversation. <gasps> Harsh doing the lean. I love it. And you've got the, the really cool jacket on. We have that jacket. Oh, look at this dude. Uh, excuse me, Professor? Raise his hand. A Boja too? Oh my gosh, I do have to do Boja. There's so much apparently in that. So much time though. She shows up to introduce as a researcher from old Charlene. It's because it's like the old and new Charlene and stuff. We finally tracked you down. 
pray we have not caught you at an inopportune moment. We wanted to offer our thanks for your kind words in the forum. You are not easy to catch up with. Well, I could hardly let that Inquisition go unchallenged. I've always believed that curiosity should be nurtured, not stifled. Thankfully, a majority of my colleagues agreed. A slender majority, aye, but a majority nonetheless. Hang on two seconds. Had the vote not gone our way, we would be having a very different conversation, if any at all. Though I'd like to think you would have not given up on our cause. I'm told you paid a visit to the Annex afterwards. Yes, that's right. I was hoping to speak with the grandchildren of my dearly departed friends Gallif and Louisois in a less doer setting. But it seems I just missed you. I still can't believe how much you've grown. If only your grandsires could have seen the way you presented yourselves to the Forum. Why, the fair brought a tear to my own eye. Aww. You must have the patience of a saint putting up with this lot and their antics. Never mind Matoya's prize student. Uh, yes, yes. Lots of patience. That's very true. Luckily, I know a thing or two about managing unruly younglings. If you ever need advice, don't hesitate to ask. As a, a new father, I'll take all the advice that I can get. Junior can be quite the handful. If I may, there is a rather more pressing matter we wish to discuss. What can you tell us of this duty that the Forum must fulfill? Spill the secrets. Nothing, I'm afraid. Like all humble servants of the Forum, I am sworn to secrecy. Can you give us some hints, or a puzzle, or a code? Or somewhere that we could go look? Tell you if I tried. Oh, really? Is there like a magical Our spell on you? Is of the gravest importance. Furthermore, if the particulars were made public, it would incite widespread panic. As such, those entrusted with this duty have been bound by an enchantment which prevents us from speaking of such matters without the express permission of the forum. Interesting. Is that even possible? It's been some time since I last gave a lecture. Please, take a seat. Take a seat, young Skywalker. We do not grant you the rank of master. <laughs> oh, look at us, dutiful students. Where's our books and our backpack? Our uh, laptop. Note taking. <clears throat> we shall begin by reviewing the fundamentals of etherology. It's class time. The ether, which imbues us with life, can be categorized into three forms. Two are of the incorporeal sort, the soul and the memory. Can anyone tell me the third? The physical form. <laughs> Magic! I think corporeal ether. Because we're all made up of ether. Yes, very good. <laughs> I just love the magic! The form with which the layman is most familiar. Consumed by even the simplest of daily activities and replenished by the food and drink that sustain us, this form of ether is in constant... Oh, constant flux. In contrast, Sorry. The ether that comprises the soul is rarely subject to dramatic change. The same can be said for memory, as the two are intrinsically linked. Picture the soul as paper, and memories as words written upon it. 
Welcome to the studium. Welcome to the hydrophone. Hydrum. Now, what would happen if that paper was doused with ink? The same type of ether as comprises the memories. I think it's welcome to the studium. I do you remember like the S being kind of weird? Blot out everything that was written. But the written stuff is still there. We would be unable to recall the memories, and any activities that depend upon them would be hindered as well. In fact, this exact phenomenon was observed on a vast scale not so long ago. And what might that have been? The seventh umbral era? Or the seventh uh, calamity? The sixth calamity? Seventh, seventh calamity. calamity. Yeah, everyone had no idea what it was that happened. Rosia vividly recalled Bahamut breaking free of the lesser moon and raining hellfire down upon the realm. But no one could seem to remember the events that followed in the right out afterwards. Indeed, to this day we have yet to determine whether it was an unintended consequence or a deliberate act. Mm. The enchantment which binds me and the rest of the forum is based on a similar principle. And yes, it is a contravention of the Charlien prohibition against the practice of memory manipulation. Interesting. Only when a new member is inducted and told of our great duty are they subjected to the process. A necessary evil. You have my word that it would never be used to manipulate the populace. How would you know if you don't have memories of it? But can this enchantment be dispelled and your memories restored? At the forum's permission. If nine-tenths of our members give their approval, then the process may be reversed. Then, and only then, would we be able to speak freely to others of our sacred duty. Barring that... We must wait until we return to the ethereal sea. But how do you act on something that you don't even remember? Like, how do they do the duty that they can't even remember it? The blocks upon our souls washed clean. Tater tots, Krinica. Just don't drop them, all right? Never drop the tater tots. And our memories drift apart and dissolve. Rather defeating the purpose, I suppose. <laughs> and then it's all gone. So you're sworn to secrecy about a duty you'd never remember. That are indelibly etched upon our souls, some believe. What happens after that? Like Van Daniel's memories. Are reduced to pure ether, coalesce with that of others, and create souls anew. Alternative schools of thought assert souls remain whole and return to the corporeal world, reborn into another form. Both theories have their proponents. Personally, I consider each equally probable. We're shook. We're so shook. Well, I think that's enough education for today. Now that I've given you some food for thought. Or rather, an entire banquet. Well, there. I guess you could say the memories being etched would work for the, um, the stars, right? Because the comets that remind us... <laughs> there you go. Uh, of of Heidelin to unlock the Heidelin thing. It's kind of etched on us. Assist you with certain matters, the resources at my disposal may still be of use to you. I'll arrange for you all to be given the run of phenomenon. 
Of course, as associate to our alumni and the students of Valdesian, this privilege is extended to you as well, my friend. Ah, oh, well, thank you. We're hoping to run into a certain I cute Aura professor. She's well known among the artisans of Charlian, and her network of contacts may prove useful in your search for knowledge. I wish you all the best in your pursuits, wheresoever they may take you. I still don't know how they, they act on memories they can't even remember. Very interesting. The run of the phenomenon. We don't have much artisanry though, so we can't really do much. Oh, I love the school outfit. That's great, Marion. You look like a proper student. A proper student. Pewter weapon coffer. It's our high elegance. Sure, we'll check it out. Oh, it's better than our current stuff is. Okay, okay, we'll just uh, equip it and we'll see. Whoa, so shiny. It's so clean. It's like very simple. Almost elegant. I feel like we've seen the design before. Though I know that Square Enix would never reuse assets. That's just like not their thing at all. But little crystal's kind of cool. I think we'll probably glam back to the other one, but the sword is nice. Maybe we'll just glam the shield. We could, what we could do is we could glamour plate, apply this, and then we'll cast glamour and remove the glamour from the sword. That sword is pretty nice, but we'll run with this sword for just a minute. Uh, before we continue, though, I'm going to go say goodnight to Junior and uh, grab some water, say hi to Chair for me, and uh, we'll be right back and uh, see where things go. And maybe we'll talk to our high-strung... Uh, Mikote friend here in just a minute. <laughs> Slash I can? Yeah.
I apologize that that took a lot longer than I was expecting to. Uh, the wife had some things that she needed help with, so I was trying to try to rush and get all that done. So, uh, let's check chat real quick. It's like when you forget a word that you know you knew. There was a gap in your knowledge, and even if you don't know what it is, you know about the gap. That's true, but I still don't know how much that you can actually do do with it. So the stream is sponsored by Hair. <laughs> You can stop here, you can do one more quest. If he starts the third quest from now, it's gonna go well past 11. Oh. No, I can do one more quest. I'm, I'm good with uh, at least one more one more full quest line. And then and then we'll stop at that point. So maybe we'll end the stream off with a triple triad tournament if one's available, so. Monte, Monte Shane is the best known for his role as head of Studium. He is said to be one of the finest mages Charlene has ever produced. Having said for myself the ease in which he weaves extraordinary, complex, and powerful magics, I have no reason to doubt the claim. Some of my earliest memories are of Skalark Montechain, actually. He was a close friend of our grandfather. He would come for tea and amaze us with his tricks, much like his demonstration with the paper and ink. He's a huge part of why I enter wanted to enter the studio in the first place. Sorry, Alfino, I don't want to talk to you a second time. Well, that's given me much to mull over. I feel as though we're one step closer to understanding the form's true motives and the mysteries of life itself for good measure. It's funny, I came here with the intent of expressing my gratitude, only to leave more indebted than before. I have a feeling his friendship and support will be a great boon to us in the days to come. And on that note, let's head back to the Annex. Perhaps on the way you could better acquaint yourself with Ki Alipo, as the scholar suggested, while I find share our findings with Raha. Ki Alipo! Ki Alipo! Oh, start Boja? I can start Boja. Uh. Um. Hello. Uh. Do you do you need any help with your studies? <laughs> what was I saying earlier about, uh. Certain comments? Ki Alipo? We're back. Oh, what? No, I don't tell me we need a level for this. Oh, no, that's for land or hand. That's not MSQ, though, right? Speak with... Yeah, okay, so we gotta go back to the Annex. So we just need a crafting skill up to level 80, which we don't have. Um, but that's good to know that that's where we get our, our level 80 stuff. So crafting quests, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a vision at one point of doing the cooking quests and, or the, not just cooking quests, but the cooking um, skill and making one of every single cookable item in the game. I still think it'd be a fun thing to do, but my goodness, that would be such a massive, massive project. <laughs> As I learned more about the crafting system and stuff. I was just like, what? Crazy. Estinian and his constant leaning. Having said the most time in Thavnir, I've yet to fully grasp the lie of the land here in Charlene. Even finding my way to the Annex proved a challenge. Estinian returned not long after he departed for the studium. A shame that he missed the chance to attend our lecture with a scholar. Or perhaps not. You know, one thing we didn't do was we didn't go back to the like the Thavdir docks and see if anyone commented on the fact that the tower was gone, and and see if things like opened up a little bit more if the trade starts coming back, etc. You better not let your guard down around Key. One small favor becomes another, then another. And before you know it, you'll be running to the other side of the world in search for a bottle of wine or some other rubbish. Then again, it might make for a welcome change of pace from your usual heroics. And as the scholar said, it could lead to some interesting discoveries. I mean, crafting. What could be interesting about that? It seems I've done an adequate job of relaying scholar Montechain's lecture to Raha. Given his experiences in the field of souls and memories, he had no trouble understanding it. I mean, uh... Oh, Katar was saying that they can't stay up super late. Yeah, um, I have work off. Uh, I don't have to work tomorrow. So I have a little bit more of an excuse to stay up late, but not everyone does. And so I don't want to drag things too crazy. But I'm more than happy to go to at least uh, 11 for the stream, depending on how the story kind of progresses. So 
From what I hear, your trip to the studium proved most educational. While you were away, I received word from our fellow scions. As expected, news of the warding scales was met with much joy. Preparations are now underway to bring the leadership of the Grand Company of Aorzea and the Eastern Alliance together to determine a way forward. Our friends have asked that we bring the scales in our possession to Limsa Lamensa. And hopefully pirates won't attack us along the way. So the time has come for us to go on the offensive. It's too early to say for certain, but it does seem to be the way the winds are blowing. I, for one, can think of no reason to oppose such a plan. Let's see what awaits us in Vilbrand. Let's start by getting the scales out of storage. Give me a hand, would you, Astinian? Hopefully we won't find that they've been stolen. Oh no, I don't know about that. <laughs> Someone's gotta watch Junior, alright? And the wife works uh, late on uh, on Friday, so. Phew, I didn't realize these crates were so heavy. I shouldn't complain, though. Vitra and the alchemists of the great work put their heart and soul into each and every one of these scales, so you must treat them with the utmost care. Are you not coming with us? As much as I would like to escape the forum's watchful gaze, I have little choice but to stay behind. We're already on thin ice, and if I, in my capacity as our official representative, were found to be consorting with foreign powers, well, you can imagine how that would go. I shall remain here and do my utmost to avoid ruffling any more feathers as I await word from Master Matoya and our other allies. With luck, we'll soon have new good news of our own to share. She's uh, doing the Tataru for Charlian. The tide is about to turn. I can feel it. To Limsa Lominsa! Well, Kryl, you be safe, alright? If you learn out of interest, be sure to let me know. In the meantime, I'll do what I can to aid our cause. Though I fear that will be precious little, given the circumstances. That's okay. You always do an awesome job, Kryl. I think it's probably uh, more of a comfort to <laughs> do a little head pat. I like when she takes off her hood. It's very cute. It's uh, kind of like letting down the official business side of things and uh, relaxing. This is also a really small detail, but um, most of the time when they have windows like this, the light that's kind of coming through, that changes if the time is nighttime, um, which is crazy cool. Uh, I got that in... A hello harsh a chicken dance um in the in rooms i would like over between day and night cycles watch the light change through the window and it's so cool it's, it's a small touch a small detail but it's, it's they didn't have to do something like that um but it's still really nice so all right to limsa lominsa lumina namana ninsa yo dance I mean what would we even uh, stream tomorrow triple triad <laughs> every stream is a triple triad stream speaking of it getting late Paige you have stayed up super late to hang out for the stream but thank you for coming out it was very sweet of you I think we go in this way Nope, we're not going this way. Uh, yes, we're going this way. Yes, and then we talk to the commander over here in the corner, on the left-hand side. Xanthael. Enjoy the stream. Thank you. Have a great night. Get some good sleep. I was told to expect you. As you may or may not be aware, the Admiral's at present entertaining the Elder Seeds here in the Sultana. Three of the most powerful women in the world in one room. Do you need a moment to prepare, or shall I show you to them? Uh, no. We're gonna, uh, re-glam. The sword is kind of nice, but it's not as nice as our other sword. So we're gonna, we're gonna switch back to our other one. But this is a good, this is a good look for us. Alright, we're ready. It's cool that Pidge stayed up late to come and hang out with us. <gasps> Everybody's here. My apologies for calling you away from Charlie and on such short notice. On the contrary, we are honored and grateful, and pleasantly surprised to be joined by such esteemed company. It was only right that this discussion be conducted in person. We are locked in a war of attrition, 
Our forces struggle to contain the threat posed by the towers, and it is only a matter of time before we are overwhelmed. Victory will only be claimed through divisive action, and we have taken the initiative to set the wheels in motion. It is reassuring to learn that we are all in accord. But might I ask what your plan entails? It hinges entirely on the warding scales and our ability to utilize their potential to the fullest. During your time in Shralian, the Allied nations have been engaged on separate fronts, with no end in sight. To make matters worse, a surge in abductions of Cabald, Sahagin, Ixal, and... and Nata have given rise to an increasing number of primals as well. But your triumph in Razat Han has given us cause to hope once more. The time has come to free ourselves of this menace, and it is you, the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, who have shown us the way. While the bulk of our forces will continue to hold the Telafroy at bay, we will dispatch our finest to strike at the enemy's heart, Garlemald. This brave few will be Isilbard contingent. To think such progress has been made in such short a span. We're going for Garlemald. Its objectives are twofold. The first is to provide aid to the people of Garlemald. As previously reported, countless Imperial soldiers and civilians have been tempered. Robbed of their free will, they serve the Telephoroi's every whim without question. They too are victims. It is our duty to deliver them from their suffering, not for pol strategic or political gain, but because it is the right thing to do. I do not ask that we set aside the decades of conflict and conquest, and we simply choose to forgive and forget. I only ask that in choosing to remember, we do not also forsake our compassion and morality, and without that, there can be no recon reconciliation, only death without end. Aye, on that we can all agree. Our second objective is the colossal tower that Thancred and Uriange observed in the capital. Though its purpose remains unclear, there's reason to believe the smaller spires are merely a precursor of what's yet to come. Until the Tower of Zot was toppled, we'd failed to make any headway, though the same could be said of the Telophoroi. They're certainly in no rush to press further into our lands. I'd wager the spire's primary purpose is to divide and keep us occupied, while they work towards our annihilation. This would appear to be substantiated by Yishtorla's analysis of the tower's influence on ethereal currents. Based on her observations, inside the Tower of Zont, the, si the spires siphon ether from the land, consuming it to maintain their form. However, they draw forth far more than is required for this task alone. The excess of ether remains unaccounted for, but we can be sure it is not being harnessed for our benefit. It wouldn't be surprise me in the least if it was being redirected to the larger spire of the capital. There's a logic in that. Regardless, once we have uncovered the truth, we'll bring their schemes crashing down along with our infernal towers. That's all well and good. But what would you have us do? I assume it's more than handing over the scales and being on our way. We'll be the front runners. We want you and your scales to join the Isabard Contingent. Consider it an official request from both the Grand Company of Eorzea and the Eastern Alliance. Do you accept? Uh, no. We'd rather go play Triple Triad. Sorry, we got better things to do. Perhaps you should be the one to answer that. If this Triple Triad... That would have been so funny. Like, if you, at this point in the game, if you'd unlocked a certain number of triple triad cards to prove that you played it a lot, like if you had a hundred cards, you'd just be like, I'm going to go play triple triad. Later. For honor and glory for the people of Garland Wald for revenge against the Telophoroi. Man, none of these are really good. Um, hmm. Because we're not selfish for honor and glory. And it's definitely not revenge. We're for our survival. But for the people of Garland Wald, well, we are we are here to protect those who cannot protect themselves, even if they're tempered by monsters. Couldn't have put it better myself. Yishtola, Thancred, and Uriange have already pledged their support, and are on their way to meet the rest of the contingent. They were positive you would come to the same decision as they did. Luckily for all involved, their prediction was correct. Once you have delivered the warding scales to Alamigo, the contingent will embark on its journey to Isilbard. I-I-Il? 
Ilsebard. Brabant and Lord Emmerich are overseeing preparations, so I just you suggest you make yourselves known upon arrival. Pack warm clothing, furs, and the like. Without it, the cold will do you in before the Telephory so much as draw steel. As for us, we'll keep the enemy busy while you're gone. They're not the only ones who can create a diversion. Now go. Safe in the knowledge, Orzia will be with you as you left it. Or better, upon your return. Go safe in the knowledge that Orzia will be as you left it. Or better, upon your return. Hopefully it'll be better. We come back and everything's on fire. And it's just like, no! <laughs> no! Katara, why are you DCing? <laughs> the Yol dance! It's party time! Let's go! We're going, and we're gonna kick some to Laparoy butt. To Girabanya. The Almegan Quarter, where I finally won that guy's stinking triple triad card. It took me so long. Your internet needs to uh, to learn how to make a commitment and stick with it, alright? There is these triple triad cards over here that, man, I beat this guy like 30 times in a row and never got the the card that I wanted from him. Look at look at my, in my inventory. Five Tonberries, six, whatever this one is, Rattanen Arvina card, um, which just shows... Because you don't win the card every time. And so, to get that many of the same card, but it's not even the card that we want. It's a lot. Emmerich! Where's your lady friend? Ah, fancy meeting you here. I trust our mutual friend is settling into life as a scion. Collaboration never was his forte. The moment the fighting ended, off he'd go like a galacat swept up in a strong breeze. But rest assured, he will always be there when you need him. Well, probably. Probably, Estinian. Emmerich asks after me, say that I'm getting on fine and leave it at that. Don't you dare breathe a word about the cord. The cord? The cord. I'm forgetting the cord from last stream or the stream before. Estinian and the cord. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, he spent like 15,000 gil or something crazy on just a little leather cord. <laughs> it's like, I seemed like a really good deal. <laughs> He is uh, he's not one to understand uh, markets and and budgeting. <laughs> you know, I'm quite looking forward to seeing who's been selected for the Ilsebard contingent. I have a few people in mind. Care to make a friendly wager? Um, Fordola is definitely in it, for sure. I'll admit, this is all rather daunting. Though not quite in the way that I was expecting. Sorry for the screen glitching. I'm trying to turn it and it kept snapping back. We'll be standing shoulder to shoulder with our alliance's finest. The best of the best. The warrior light and, well, me. It's silly, I know. Perhaps this is my way of distracting myself from the part I should be worried about. Marching into Garlemald. Graha! Anytime we get to talk to Graha. <laughs> I must quiz Thancred and Orianje on the conditions we can expect in Garlemald. I know it's cold, but how cold? Well, I need to keep my ears covered. They can be a bit sensitive at times. Ah, that's all right. We'll cover your ears with a few friendly pets. They'll be fine. They'll be fine. It's also cute, Alfido. He's still trying to be so confident, but it's hard. It's hard. Alliance's finest. You are one of the Alliance's finest. Ah, the Wanderers return. You've been busy bringing down a tower and producing the keys to destroying the rest of them. You should be proud. Those warding scales of yours are what's made this whole venture possible. Will you and Lord Emmerich be leading the contingent? Regrettably, no. Our role is to organize the various delegations into a cohesive unit. Once we have seen you all off, it's back to our respective posts. We dare not neglect our duties for too long, lest our defensive efforts fall into disarray. And, just between us, there was a fair amount of opposition to the formation of the Ilsebard contingent. The very suggestion that we send out some of our finest troops behind enemy lines to render aid into Garleans has made me a rather unpopular in certain quarters. Huh. Can't please them all. Sadly not, though I do my best. Truth be told, I'd rather much be at your side charging into the fray. Alas, I have battles of my own to fight, where words may serve me better than any blade. 
I hate to say it, but Lord Emmerich's struggles mirror my own. For the time being, the best we can offer you is the peace of mind from knowing Eorzea is in safe hands. As you fight the good fight and Ilsebard, I and the other commanders will do what we can to convince the naysayers that our cause is just. Thank you, both of you. We meet again. Fordola? Oh no! Whoa! They brought him into this? Gaius. Much has occurred since we parted ways in Whirlet. From what I gather, the protective talismans you obtained led to the formation of this extraordinary force. My contribution on this occasion is but a minor one, that being the information I have shared with Maxima. For the sake of the people of Garlemald, may the fates be at your side. So you're not coming with us? Strange. I thought you'd have a stake in this. I do. The Telophoroi have laid waste to my homeland and enslaved my people. But though every mote of my being cries for vengeance, I cannot be the one to deliver it. My presence alone would place the entire mission in jeopardy. I stand accused of murdering Emperor Varus and plunging Garlemald into chaos. Were I to travel with Ilsebard contingent, it would give my countrymen ample cause to question our motives. Conversely, those who believe me innocent may instead celebrate the return of a former legatus and attempt to raise me to a position of leadership, further destabilizing the region and complicating the contingent's mission. Whether I am branded a villain or hailed as a hero, I would only hinder your efforts. Deliver your people from harm in your stead. I doubt they'll be pleased to see the champion of Orzia set foot on Garlean soil. Whirl it is in your hands. Uh, that's good, but can kind of sting. I'm going to kind of agree with him that it's going to be challenging for us as well. I doubt they'll be pleased to see the champion of Orzia on Garlean soil either. But we do, we do what we got to do. A fair point. But so long as you refrain from announcing your arrival to all and sundry, the average person should have no inkling as to your identity. Although your titles and deeds are common knowledge, only a select few would recognize you on sight alone. Perhaps one day they will learn that the Warrior of Light is not a demon to be feared, but a man deserving of their trust. Ah. In light of Gaius's rather unique circumstances, I instead will assume the role of your guide. Though I may have defected for political reasons, my love for Garlemald endures. I would stop at nothing to protect her and her people. Well said. Might I ask that you escort our friends inside? Maxima. You might even bump into an old acquaintance or two. And if I don't see you again ere you depart, may the fury guide and protect you. All of you. I love that he still is kind of hanging on to the... Like, Ishgardian religion. Uh, even when things have kind of shifted and changed and stuff. That's cool. People don't give up religion very easily, even when they're facing, like, like, I don't know if he knows everything about the Sundered and the 13 Reflections and the Ancients and all the sort of crazy stuff. Um, but yeah, it's, it's the stuff that people have faith in that kind of they hold too dear. Once you've seen the contingent on its way, I'll return to my duties here in Alamigo. As many of our most capable will be traveling with you to Garlemald, we who remain will have to fight that much harder to make up the difference. But let no man say I do not welcome the challenge. This old bull isn't ready to hang up his horns yet. He's awesome. I'm trying to get to Emmerich. Mirian, you're in the way. <laughs> I neglected to mention earlier that we received a report from our troops that may be of interest to you. While engaged with the Lunar Primal, a great worm swooped down from the skies above and came to their aid. This worm, as described, is a spitting image of Tiamat. It would seem she too continues to wage war against the Telophoroi. Tiamat's helping out! Estania would like to hear that, that's for sure. Like Gaius, I too stand accused of Varus's murder, though I am less recognizable on sight. Still, it's something to bear in mind once we reach Garlemald. We'll have to hide your hair, I guess. So that's Gaius Belser, or as he must have seen. Many of his own making, I do not doubt. Oh, you haven't actually met? That's so cool. This is actually the first time that Graha is meeting or seeing Gaius. With the knowledge that our allies will hold the line in our absence, we may devote our full attention to the Isilbardian front. Isilbardian front. I suppose it's easy for some people to forget there are civilians in Garlemald too, when the only Imperials they've ever known are soldiers. Fordolo is a good reminder of that. 
regardless of how my countrymen receive you. The cold will not treat you kindly. Underestimate it, underestimate it at your peril. Oh, we get a gift! The other members of the Ilsebard contingent are gathered in the royal palace. I shall inform them of your arrival, so please make your way inside as soon as you are ready. Glam game cost bank? Oh, oh, to be fair, I spent several million on clothes in this game. <laughs> because, I mean, would you spend several million, though, to have a different hairstyle? And I think the answer is most of you absolutely would. With how many comments in the Discord about hairstyles there are, if a new hairstyle came out that you absolutely loved, you'd be dropping several mil on that. <laughs> the remaining members of the Scions, your friends and most of the Ilsebard contingent, wait with you within. Would you like me to see you through? Yes, please. 15k on a hairstyle. <laughs> Drop millions for the long hair. Oh man, if it was like super long, like super long. I'm a sucker for long hair. Not on guys, but it's everybody we know. Oh my gosh, that is everybody we know. Everybody and more. Please. Holy moly, there's so many people I'm not gonna know their names. I hope you don't mind, but we went ahead and started without you. I'm not gonna know half of these people's names because I'm terrible with names. As this is gonna be terrible. Our traveling companions were eager to become acquainted. It is a rare thing indeed to see such a diverse and talented group of individuals assembled for a single purpose. We fight not only for the sake of Eorzea, but for the entire world, including the people of Garlemald. Much rides on the efforts of the Ilzebard contingent. Okay. Pippin, Lise, uh, that one kid, uh, from, from Gridania who... Uh, we did some quests with, uh, and his sister's uh, kind of cool, but, you know, he's, like, sage quests and things. Uh, the Thalmaturgs from, uh, Thanalan. Um, oh, wait! Um, ah! Okay, so it's the Machinist from Ishgard, and Honorwar? Is that Anawa? I didn't realize, uh, if that's Onawa in, like, Harsh's armor, but not with his brother, that would be crazy. I'm wondering if, as a machinist, if we, we get a special conversation piece um, with, what's his name? I'm so not going to remember his name. <laughs> um, I don't know the guy who's cheering the guy on doing the push-ups. I kind of recognize the teal hair, but I don't know him either. And then some Gridanian people. In the background, I think this is just a bunch of NPCs, but from like every different branch and group. That's awesome. I love the, the Thalmaturgs, though. Indeed. That's awesome. Oh, Ritzia! I find myself in the company of many trusted comrades, yourselves included. Oh, Lucia's coming. This is excellent. We'll have to protect her, though, for Emmerich. Lucia. Lucia is excellent. I'm at the behest of Lord Emmerich. Has honored me with the role of Ishgard's representative. And for the good of all nations, not least my former homeland, I am determined to see this mission through to its end. Her cutscenes in Heaven's Word that I uh, added to the music video that I did are so cool. Where she's like taking blasts from dragons and, and just we have a going ham. Ahead of us, but walk it we shall, together. She's awesome. We too welcome this opportunity to work together once more. Whoa. I have faith that if there is a way to resolve this conflict, we will find it. Every NPC that has Psycon in the game has special text if you interacted with them before. That's awesome. We'll, get, we'll find out how many I've interacted with this I'm time. To introduce you to the rest of our company. <laughs> a reminder of all the names. Everyone. Oh my gosh, the Lalas. <laughs> Please. Imagine though how long 
the streams and like games and stuff, how long it would take me to get through to Endwalker if I was doing all the side content although along the way. That would take literally an eternity. If I must. Ah, Rune Senna. I think I just recently got Aru Senna and the other Senna, um, the sister card that has both of them. We shall provide support and protection to those in need during our time in Gollumwood. Your hair, the bowl cut. To that end, I am joined by healers selected by the Conjurer's Guild. With the Order of the Twin Adder's Finest serving as our escort. The Twin Adder. Which I'm sure we did, would have done quests with if we were over there. Those requiring more involved treatment will be in safe hands. Raya O sends her regards, by the way. Raya O, see, okay, so we got the white mage, the the uh, cutscene too. That's cool. We haven't done a whole lot of white mage, but we did get it to I think sixty. So that's not nothing. That's not nothing. Experienced white mage. That's awesome. Suppose I'd better say my piece. Sicard. Oh, he's the pirate guy. He's the the pirate guy from. Sicard, in case you've forgotten. Truth be told, I'd rather you had forgotten. Any road, the Admiral asked Captain Hillfear to send his best, and for whatever reason, he picked me. We had the, uh, he had the duel with Melweb, which is awesome. Of course, if I'd refused, I'd be the laughing stock of the bloody executioners, and my reputation's taken enough of a key haul in as it is. But more importantly, like any pirate worth his salt, I know when you're staring down a storm, you gotta trust in the commander of your ship. So if the Admiral wants us to go to Garlemald, not for plunder and glory, but a promise of peace in our time, then that's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. Since we all know how much the Empire loves its steel, we thought we'd bring along a few smiths to make the most of it. Give them a pile of scrap and they'll cobble together anything you fancy. Of course, just like the Gradanians, we got fighters of our own. We might have come with a more constructive purpose in mind, but we're more than capable of cracking skulls. Believe you me. Believe you. Okay, I'm liking Sakaar more and more, but the the, the Lalas are killing me. <laughs> Especially Lee's just surrounded by an army of Lalas. to go. Then again, so are we. The most dependable warriors of Uldar and Alamigo have assembled at the Sultana and General Aldin's behest. Pippin with the sword. I love it so much. If Garlemald has truly fallen, then the whole place is likely to be crawling with Telophoroi. We'll need plenty of troops to clear and hold a path for others to follow. Yeah, <laughs> we're cracking That's a few skulls. Come. Naturally, Marshal Tarapin and I will be leading from the front. Oh, that's awesome. It's been some time since I last saw you in your element on the battlefield. Sicard is sick. <laughs> Believe you me. Master Matoya, the avatar of destruction. <laughs> Ariane definitely told her. <laughs> Maybe Thancred. One of them did. I know we'll succeed, no matter what awaits us. And then we might finally get a chance to enjoy a good long rest. But until then. Let's give it our all. So you saying the other characters would have spoken during this? We didn't get the Ishgardian. Ishgard, we Temple Knights have come in force to uphold our nation's commitment to the peace and welfare of our allies. The bitter cold of Garlemald is a formidable enemy in of itself. Our experience fighting in ice and snow will prove invaluable in the days ahead. Accordingly, I have been designated commander of the Ilzabad contingent. I will do all in my power to provide you with the leadership and guidance you require. The four high houses, House Hylinart foremost among them, have arranged for a host of machinists to join us on our mission. Ah, uh, yeah. Magitek is sure to be a great boon. They will address any problems of a technical nature together with the smiths of Limpsa Lomitsa. I remember doing blacksmithing in Limpsa Lomitsa. Another awaiting introduction. 
<laughs> Monolane, not Anoa. I totally, as soon as I saw his face, I was like, no, I got that wrong. It's not Anoa. <laughs> Emmalane. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, Emmalane de Fortin. Emmalane. I'm going to look serious. Uh, er. Lest there be any misunderstanding, I should stress that I've not become a fearsome warrior while you were away. Rather, far from it, actually. My brother, in his infinite wisdom, decided this would be an excellent chance to make something of myself. Oh, and fight for world peace and all that. Whatever that all means. But should the opportunity arise for a spot of ballroom <laughs> dancing, I will be your twinkle-toed gentleman of light. I, I think we're good. <laughs> May your graceful prancing lead the way to victory. I dare say your fancy footwork may be all the stance which he does and certain do. <laughs> Definitely, your fancy footwork may be all that stands between us and doom. Clearly. <laughs> That's so funny. I cannot wait to regale on a hua with my tail. On a hua. I believe that concludes introductions for the Grand Company of Eorzea. Our allies from the Eastern Alliance were due to arrive some time ago, but it would appear they have been delayed. Would that be the Shinobi of Doma? Actually, e and the Vera. I'm tasked with relaying messages back and forth between the various Eastern nations. According to Lord Hien, however, an equally capable company of warriors has been sent in their stead. Is Fran joining the crew? My way, you fool. That sounded like Yashtola. <gasps> oh, Siri! Oh, that's awesome. Look at this whole squad. It's literally everybody. Forgive us for coming late. We are the delegates of the Eastern Alliance. Sirena, and you've brought company. For battle and blood we come, as the step is sorely lacking in both. No towers befoul our lands, so we marched on those of Doma, only to find them beyond our reach. But now our thirst for slaughter will be slaked. No quarter to the enemy! <laughs> so Still had to know. We Cartoon. Peace with the Iron Men, not war. Well, we can make war with some of them. Warriors peace with the rest. Death. We've heard many tales of your bravery. We welcome you as allies. And these other ones you have brought are... Members of the Dalmascan Resistance. Dalmascan Resistance. And the Bosnian Resistance. The Bosnian resistance. This is why we gotta do Bosnia. They have a wealth of experience in espionage and are particularly adept at infiltrating imperial facilities, which is fortuitous, since Garlemald's domain is so vast that I could never hope to handle reconnaissance duties all by myself. I'm sure you could do it, then, Cred. I haven't even done Bosnia. Alamiga, all lands which have suffered the tyranny of the Empire. I would. This is amazing. Question your motives. Nevertheless. I must reiterate that our goal is to aid the victims of the Tilophoroi, the common folk of Garlemald. All right, so, uh, hold on. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, I can't do another poll? Oh, I guess I gotta end this poll. Okay, end that poll. Then we're gonna start a new poll. You're gonna like that poll, I'm sure. And they are victims, make no mistake. Though I understand that many may struggle to see them as such. You're more right than you know. For every one of us that answered the call, there were a dozen that refused. Not only in Alamigo, but everywhere we went. And who could blame them? The Empire's always been the enemy. There's more at stake After now. Seeing what we've seen, fighting and working against and with Garlians, 
There's no denying the simple truth. They're just people. No different from you or I. They've got their share of liars and murderers, but so do we. So do we all. Where is Fort Dola? Who once swore herself to Garlemald has proven herself a trusted ally time and time again. Every Aeorzean here knows Sid Garland, the Imperial defector who shared with us countless technological wonders. Gaius bloody Balesar himself is working to help rebuild Whirlit, a nation he once conquered. So you can believe me when I say that every fighter here understands and accepts that the Imperials are not monsters and are deserving of help. Or at least that they were able to put aside their feelings for the greater good. This is really hard to do. It won't be easy. But we're all determined to make this world a better place. <laughs> is that what Fordola has been uh, <laughs> subjected to? She's now a nanny. I may have had were clearly unwarranted. I agree with everything you said wholeheartedly. Wholeheartedly. Then we are in accord. Now, let us review our strategy. This is crazy. This is the most number of people Today's from the our story in one place. Northern Ilsebard, we must cross the central mountain range. Fortunately, Garland Ironworks can provide aerial transport, sparing us this most treacherous part of our journey. Where is Tataru? However, attempting to fly any closer to Garlemald would attract the attention of the Teloferoi. As they appear to have seized control of the majority of the Imperial military, we must assume that includes its fleet. In addition, Garlemald possesses devices that can interfere with airship navigational systems, further discouraging an airborne approach. Given the circumstances, the closest we dare deploy our contingent is an area between the range and the capital, the Magna Glacius. Glackies. There, we must travel the rest of the way on foot. We will also need to bring the airships with us to ensure we can withdraw with haste. Although much of the terrain will be blanketed in snow, we should be able to make use of local roads and shipping facilities. The vast ice field will afford us an unobstructed view of the surrounding area. On the other hand, it will also allow others to easily spot us. So it is imperative that we only make camp in positions where we can easily defend ourselves. And the airships, which must be kept safe at all costs. We cannot account for every possibility, so we must be prepared to think on our feet. We will be tested, sorely tested, I expect. But for our homes and for our people, and a people not our own but in need, we will succeed. Spare no effort in your preparations. Once we That's depart, amazing. Look at everyone. No effort in your preparations. Sadhu! See, I knew everyone would say MSQ. Of course they'd say MSQ. Stefan! That's what I was thinking of. If it isn't Jake, it is thanks in no small part to you and the manufacturer's future is looking brighter than ever, my friend. I'm pleased to report that I and a handful of my colleagues have been selected to join the contingent. Ere the expedition has ended, even the Temple Knights will be singing our machinist's praise once they've borne witness to not only our mechanical proficiency, but our combat prowess too, of course. <laughs> As a machinist, I wholeheartedly approve. Check out my Sky Pirate gear. Look at that gun. Isn't that revolver awesome? I knew you'd like it. <laughs> Alberic, I trust Justinian is proving himself a useful addition to your band. Though I'm here today in my capacity as a Temple Knight, I look forward to seeing the other former Azure Dragoon in action once more. I think we, he fought with us during the whole Ishgardian thing. I'm a little well, well, if I'd known what a social gathering this would turn out to be, I'd have dressed for the occasion. Still, this seems a perfect opportunity to mingle with the other guests. Would I be correct in assuming those ladies over yonder are Serena and Sadu of the Steppe? Hmm, perhaps I should introduce myself, though I don't much like the look of that fellow with the enormous hacks. <laughs> Aw, you don't like Magni? Come on! He's great. You go get along with him fine. I cast my lot in with the Popularis to bridge the divide between Garlemald and her territories. That all may be united in common cause. But we were disparaged as a radical element, the centers looking to destabilize the Empire from within. 
Many friends and even my parents perished in unfortunate accidents. I too would surely have met the same fate had I not defected. Nevertheless, I still dream of equality and peace for us all. As the world itself stands on the brink of collapse, I hold out hope that one day that dream becomes reality. Choo Choo To, definitely don't think we've hung out too much. I'm so glad I found you. I have a letter for you from Master Haman. Let's read it together, shall we? Now let's see here. Ahem. I have every confidence that your fist... <gasps> it's of the, the monk! The monk job! Your fish shall bring the Telephoroi to their knees. And should you espy any beautiful maidens thereabouts, perhaps sing them my praises? Charming master. Oh, yes, it's the, the super old guy who uh, had his two assistants, right? <laughs> well, more fool me for thinking that letter would contain something actually inspiring. Let's just um, forget this note exists and uh, focus on the battle ahead. <laughs> I do remember that so long ago. <laughs> Kookabooky! <laughs> well, we came as quickly as we could. We would follow your example and devastate the Telephoro with the full extent of our powers. Were we not for your brothers, Boosie, we will return soon enough. <sighs> All of the Thalmaturgs and the whole quest line where uh, their their brother got possessed by uh, one of the shadow creatures. Often has Father told me of the struggles faced by the Alamegan in the days of the occupation. I too have crossed swords with the Empire on many occasions. The Garlemont has long been our bitter enemy. Her grace has elected to bolster the Ilsebard contingent with members of the Immortal Flames. As our representatives of the Sultanate, we are one in our commitment to the cause. Pippin, I give you the Flame Salute, as always. Now, I don't think I've had many interactions, if at all, with the Bronabar. I'm here representing the Marauders Guild, and it's my job to keep this miss out of arm's way. Mind you, with the mammoths of theirs, they can put up a fair fight themselves. With a bit of luck, this'll be over and done before you know it. Maybe when this is all over, you can pay the Axe Master a visit. They say tells all the new recruits about the time you killed Kojanata and avenged that boy's parents. I'll remember like it were yesterday. Uh, because we did do a number of the, uh, the warrior's job. This is some old gear. Man, I remember Lalaki was running around in what I called the Thor gear. Marauder. Sicard. With our uh, very <laughs> early weak rogue. <laughs> Level 30 rogue. Until the Empire fell, Guardians were the only ones who was allowed to impose tariffs upon at sea. One easy pickings, but I made myself some pretty gill. Since they've been so generous of me and mine, perhaps it's time I return the favor and give them a little something back. A little something something. Uh, a white mage, white mage. There we go. Level 60. So many people from so many places, I'm rather out of my element. Regardless, I am a seed seer, and I will endeavor to equip myself accordingly. Magni. Been a minute. With the mole, champions of the Nadam, and the Durothal having sent so many here, I thought to defend the steppe in their absence. And I would have done so were it not for my stepbrothers. They urged me to grant our ally the sun's might, and that his radiance may deliver unto them victory. Though I must tolerate the presence of this feral Dulathari dog, as first among my brothers, I could do no less than accept this challenge. My deeds will become the stuff of legends. You both still had some amazing cutscenes during Stormblood. I care not for the Iron Men or their troubles. It is the destiny of the weak to die in ignominy. Even so, I would do as I have agreed. I volunteered to join this band at Serena's request. If she thinks it a worthy cause, that is reason enough. Though we hail from different tribes, our bond has grown strong of late. She is much better company on the hunt than any of the steps oafish men could dream to be. <laughs> She's just that much better, isn't she? I am glad to see you well, Jake. Grandmother was worried for you. The night I agreed to come hither and join the contingent, the gods sent her a strange dream. Uh-oh. 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 Here we go. I'm glad I talked to Saruna. Man, that, that grandma's dream, I went back a couple of times and rewatched it. Two sons... One burning red, the other frozen black. One burning red, the other frozen black. Closer they circled, closer and closer. And as they danced, the world fell to ruin. In blinding chaos, she spied blackened silhouettes and knew at once it was you and yours. What? I'm screenshotting that. I'm screenshotting that twice, just in case. Burning red and frozen black, closer they circled as they danced, the world fell to ruin. In blinding chaos, she spied blackened silhouettes and knew at once that one was yours. Okay, is this like... 
the star and the moon? Or is he uh, the planet and the moon red? Two suns. And one silhouette was me and one silhouette is Xenos. Yet we knew not how to interpret this dream, save as a sign that great danger awaits. Whatever lies ahead, I'll walk with you. Traveler! Traveler! Oh, she's so cool. A proper dolmen bow. Alright. I could talk with these people all day long. So I wonder if we there are other people that we would get to have a chance to talk to if uh like the, like this, you know, person over here, if we did some of the side quests with them, or one of the uh I guess there's only one here. Vieras? Or if some of the side quests they have different different lines of dialogue, so Additional characters would have nameplates to talk to if you've done their content. Yeah, okay, there you go. That's what I thought. So my guess is that, like, maybe some of these would have nameplates. And maybe one of these would have nameplates. You would definitely have a nameplate. You look like a nameplate person. Alright, well, nameplaters aside, Graha's still the best. So, this is extraordinary. To be in such company, the finest our allies could offer. With comrades such as these, we're bound to succeed. I'm certain of it. We've been a part of joint military operations like this before, and with far greater numbers. But for some reason, this feels very different to our previous experiences. Despite having shared little more than introductions, there is already a palpable sense of camaraderie. Well, they are in the storm that we have dragged along, so... I've close ties with the scouts of the Eastern Alliance and with various resistance groups, and they're an absolute joy to work with. Blessed we are to have made countless steadfast allies or our journey's course. Indeed, we are joined today by many new acquaintances who in time shall come to call our comrades, or mayhap even friends. I was half expecting to find the man who taught me red magic amongst our number, but he's nowhere to be seen. I suppose he's had his share of unpleasant experiences with the Empire, but so have we all. Perhaps some other reason? Well, in any case, I have a feeling I'll see him again once this is all over. I'm sure I'll be pleasantly surprised how much my sword plays improved since we last met. That's true, we actually never really got to know when she, or like, her training to switch from what she was before to a red mage. Oh my gosh, she's changed jobs and Alfino's changed jobs. Everybody's growing up. I did not expect to see the other former Azure Dragoon here of all places. Wait, what? Oh, that's, that's the, uh, the, uh, Alberic, right? Alberic? The, he was the, the older, previous Dragoon. As he well knows, I'm not one for verbose greetings. We shall instead let our lances do the talking once we are on the battlefield. Then we'll see if the other has been diligent in his training. And Asidian took over when he, when he took the eye, right? I've led troops into battle many a time, but never a unit with such a diverse range of talents. While I've been briefed on the capabilities, I expect you could provide additional insight into their strengths and weaknesses. I'd appreciate any advice you may have. Uh, I'll tell you all that I know, which isn't much, because uh, half the time I forget some of their names. <laughs> Stephanivian. Besides the delegates assembled here, the Amalja and several other tribes offered to send troops of their own. Unfortunately, due to their psychology, many would struggle simply to survive in the harsh climate of Ilsebard. They would also likely prove tempting targets for abduction by the Telophoroi. All things considered, they can better aid the cause by bolstering our defenses in Arosia, though their eagerness to do more has been noted. We few shall have to suffice. Ere we embark, we must distribute the warding scales among our comrades. Care to do the honors? Lucia? Warding scales for the Ashgardian delegation, I take it? Oh yeah. You only get one, though. That's it. Only one for you. The rest are for everyone else. <laughs> Many thanks. These talismans may prove to be the deciding factor in the battles to come. I find myself conflicted by the foray into Garlemo. Sent by the Empire to infiltrate Ishgard, uh, only to throw in my lot with those whose secrets I was supposed to be stealing. And now I lead a mission to save the countrymen I betrayed. But that is doubtless why I was chosen by Lord Emmerich. He would have me put my extensive knowledge and former ties to good use. I will not disappoint him. For the future of Ishgard, Garlemald, and the world at large, I will lead us to victory. She's so cool. 
Was that a set of warding scales I spy? Not that I would know what they look like. These enchanted talismans, or should that be talisman, would probably require considerable less time and effort to produce if the alchemists of the great work were not so preoccupied with making them look pretty. Whoa! Whoever, whoever labeled these uh, uh, shots fired. <laughs> it's all about the design, right? It's all about the look. Look at these. Even a layman can tell, like me, can tell they're bursting with ether. All the better to fend off the tempering waves. Is that the right term? Anyway, these will give us one less thing to worry about, which just leaves the other mountain of whatever else it is that's waiting for us in Garlemald. Only one way to find out. And nervous or not, I'd march through all seven hells if it gave me a chance to put Xenos back in the grave where he belongs. Yeah, she's got a little bitter uh, opinion with him. A little bitter rivalry. Aye, oh, them scales everyone's been talking about. Pretty little things, ain't they? Reckon they'll be worth a gill or two when this is all over. But we'll hold on to them for now. And one more thing. I know what you're all thinking. Why didn't they send Enzar instead? But if I know, all the Admiral and Captain Hilfer told me was that they needed someone to help safeguard the future. And here I am. Can't say they haven't got a sense of humor. Of course, cool. some of you might be wondering what a good pirate is doing on dry land in the middle of salt and snow of all places. Well, me and me crew will do whatever needs doing. So let's set sail. Or oh, however the saying goes on airships. Yeah, that's that's close enough. Yes. So these are the famed warding scales. Even for, enough for me and my men, I see. Under normal circumstances, I would not be allowed to travel outside the Twelveswood. The Elder Seeds here, however, has granted me special permission. She has bid me lend my magics to the people of Garlemald while learning all I can of their ways. In doing so, I will come closer to understanding myself and my place in the world. Or so she says. I say that it is past time our allies benefited from the power at Seedseer's disposal. Some bemoan that we hide our light under a bushel, and I intend to address that criticism. Wait, is there anybody else? No? Serena's saved for last? We heard it would be cold in Garlemald, so we came prepared. Wait, well, there's one more. I don't know who this one's for. Oh, the talismans. Yeah, I don't think Sadu looks very prepared outfit-wise, I'm just saying. But maybe, maybe they packed. We are keeping these close at all times, yes? I will see that no one misplaces theirs. Oh, and before I forget, I have a message from Hian. In distant lands, in times of strife, together stand, together fight. In darkness shines the light of life. I hope I have done his words justice. Doma, much like, uh, like much of Arthur, has been plagued by the towers. Yet while he could not be here, he wishes to express his shared conviction. Kien and Yagiri labor without rest to unite the people, and with their aid we will keep the enemy at bay. And we of the Step and the Eastern Alliance will repay their efforts by ending this war. <laughs> She's so awesome. We don't need anybody else. <laughs> oh, Maxima is the end. You have a warding scale for me. Yeah, I guess you can have one. But you're not an R, so whatever. <laughs> Thank you for this. And for going to such incredible lengths for the sake of my people. Though I have little to offer in return, I would impart some advice if I may. You have been told by many to wear the cold of Ilsebard, and I cannot stress enough, this is no token warning. I will be distributing specially made warming tinctures, courtesy of the Alchemist's Guild, but understand they are no substitute for proper protection. I leave the provisioning of said protection to your discretion. Now let us proceed to the Alamegan Quarter. While you make your final preparations, I will have the pilots ready the airships. That's so awesome, though, having, like, everyone from literally hundreds and hundreds of hours of having played this. Having everyone show up in one place, all grouped together. What a huge callback. Since my revival, I've been lax in expending my limited wardrobe. I think we have time for a quick trip back to old Charlene. I recall a rather fetching coat. I, are all their outfits going to change? Preparations. I got my armor on my lance. What more can I? He's gonna be cold. He's gonna be cold. But I guess though he's used to it. He's used to Ishgardian cold, so maybe he won't care. He'll be like, that's whatever. If you have anything you need to take care of, you better see to it now. 
This coat is quite warm, but I have something rather thicker for occasions like these. There's no telling how long we'll be out in the open, and we can't go starting fires willy-nilly if we want to avoid detection. Concoctions to fortify the flesh against wind and cold are commonly sold in the olden markets, though they are of dubious provenance and efficacy. It is said, however, that in recent days the Alchemist Guild hath produced a tincture capable of such a feat. Mayhap the achievements of the Thavnerian counterparts did spur them into action, that they did be not put to shame. It's something of a constant refrain that we require warmer clothing. A present guard may be lacking, fur collar notwithstanding. Fur collar? <laughs> fur, ha ha, fur, ha. <laughs> so she's gonna. I, I, I wanna see all the outfits. Y'all better be wearing something warm too, okay? You can't be running around in uh, some of the outfits I've seen y'all. This is our last chance to make ready before we set forth. We actually have a really good outfit for this. This is such a great outfit for all of you, for Charlian, uh, maybe not so much for, for uh, Thavnir, but I, I love our outfit. You didn't worry about Uriange and I. I was going to say for Uriange, he's probably just going to cast a spell to keep himself warm. You still have what we wore in Garlemald before. Asidian claims to be quite warm and toasty beneath his armor, and since he spent a fair bit of time up north recently as well, I have no reason to doubt his words. Most of the others will be borrowing Grand Company stock. The rest of you could do likewise, I suppose, provided you're not overly concerned with style. Huh. Not to put too fine a point on it, but I wouldn't be seen dead in those ridiculous overcoats. If only I had time to find something of my liking. Hark! Is that the cry of a scion in need of a trailer, I hear? It's not the haircutting dude, is it? <gasps> no, it's Tataru! <gasps> and she always has the outfits, but but how? <laughs> I have my own ways. I mean, she has her own ship. Oh, yes, indeed. You thought you could sneak off to Ilsebar without telling me? Ha! <laughs> Nothing escapes my notice or my new outfit! New outfit! Now, you will wear these garments I made for you, whether you like it or not. Okay, yes ma'am, I guess we're sticking with our... <laughs> we're, we're, we're sticking with her outfit, regardless. You never cease to amaze. But why do you need a new outfit as well? Wait, you're not coming with us. But of course not, silly. It's all in the name of fashion. Rather, the pursuit of the highest quality fashion. Besides, how can I expect others to wear my creations if I've never worn them myself? But yeah, uh, there's a little bit of a size difference between, uh... <laughs> oh, I did have one other thing to share. Oh my gosh. Argamas and Blomwida have finally returned from assignments in faraway lands. They'll be staying at the Rising Stones for a while to keep an eye on events throughout Eorzea. Since they'll be running things back at headquarters, I was wondering if I could lend a hand in Charlian. Oh, why not? You can keep Kral company in the Baldessian Annex. Yes, we'd love to have you there. And I heard Argamas and Blowida did a fine job carrying on in our stead while we were lying comatose. With them in charge of the Rising Stones, we've nothing to worry about. My thoughts exactly. Also, I'm confident you won't go collapsing again, because a certain someone who shall remain nameless is in a position to transport your souls to another world. If anything similarly disastrous were to happen, I'd be well positioned to do something about it. Anyway, I've got a few things to take care of, and then I'll make my way to Charlian. I really do hope these new clothes are enough to keep you warm in Garlemald. It's not much, but it's the only thing I can do for you, other than pray for your safe return. Which I will. Every day. She's so precious! I don't know, she might be the best in the whole story. Tatar is just amazing. Let's not keep the contingent waiting any longer. Especially because she doesn't, like, get to go on adventures with us. Imagine being her, stuck at home the whole time. Here are your winter woolies, handcrafted by yours truly. The amount of love and care that she has, North Sea Coat. Oh man, and it's dyeable too? <laughs> That's just epic. <laughs> Sidney's just gonna walk right past, because he don't need that. He don't need that. How could we not wear that? Arusena has special text for white mages? Oh, here. Arusena? No? Did I miss it? I know we talked to Arusena. Maybe I missed it. it. was when I was supposed to be giving out the things. I thought I had a 
white mage, but maybe I had to hit a certain level in white mage, so I missed it. Earlier in the room, when you were giving the talismans, I I was like, I considered going through and re-talking to everyone, but I was like, there's no way that you'd have to, have to, they, they would just, I don't know, rewrite everything. Equip winter willies. Is there a hood? Can we put a hood up? That'd be awesome if we could. No, we just got this stupid helmet on. Stupid helmet. All right, so I think what we're going to do is, because this next quest, I'm sure, like, launches into the next thing, right? Hello? Um, what I'll probably do is, between this stream and the next stream, um, throw this into our glamour stuff, and so that way it's easy to equip or unequip, so. It only says if you're progressed to a certain level and doing the quests as a white mage. Oh, if you're doing the quest as a white mage, he has a cool line for you. Nice. That's all, that's all new game plus fanciness, so. Pewter, uh, we will use this, actually. I'm kind of curious on what this outfit is. That's all high elegant stuff, so. High dream armor fending. Whoa! Well, wait, that looks really cool and kind of matches our, our gear as well. It's got a really high collar, too. Oh, man, we're going to have to pick and choose. Maybe what we do is we wear this during... Oh, it's dyeable as well? <gasps> so many cool stuff. Ooh, look at that silver! Look at that silver. The black is really, really similar. Man, some of this stuff, we could definitely do some cool colors with, like, blue. And that would be nice. That's super blue. That's way too blue. That's, like, Emmerich blue. You show up at Emmerich's place and be like, Yo, check this out! We're blue, da ba dee da ba da Oh, that's nice and green, too. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll probably maybe, let's do this. We'll update the gear set, because that's better than what we had before anyway. Um, and we'll do like this for like fighting, and then we'll switch over to the woolies when we're running around. <gasps> and it has like a half cape? Oh, now we have to have this for fighting. It may only be half a cape, but it's still a cape nonetheless. Oh, that's so sick. It's like a really long scarf. I actually have something similar to this for... A, um, a like sci fi pirate outfit that I put together for a costume at one point. That it basically is like a super long scarf that I just wrap one end around, pin it, and then the rest hangs down. But that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, we're definitely sticking, we're sticking with this, but we'll wear the, the woolies when we need to for in our glamour plate when we're looking pretty. So, yes, no, capes are definitely the way to go. We're doing, we're doing capes. So, good spot to pause. Next stream is going to be hype. What? I thought we were doing, uh, we're doing Boja next stream. I mean, look at the poll. 50% said to do Boja, so clearly Boja is important. We gotta, we gotta do Boja instead, so. Interesting, I had a glam for MSQ Endwalker, which is black leather plus scion skirt from Heaven's Ward. I'd swap to the winter coat for the story. Yeah, exactly. Switch back and forth. And that, I, I kind of like that. Even, even when we were doing... The glamour plates between these two it was like when we're fighting this one and when we're hanging out that one both of these look really cool and this still looks really good it looks warm as well which is awesome this one looks good man so many so many options oh it's got a little purple and green in it oh i don't know if i like the chin sticking through <laughs> our chin is too pokey we got a pokey chin we gotta trim that chin back, sand down the uh, sand down the chin horn. It's it's too sharp, stabbing through. That's cool gear though. The moon is what? The moon is a lie. I don't see the moon right now. I wonder if the moon it does like turn more orange over the course of Endwalker, because that was it was orange in the trailer, and they said that it was like the red versus the black suns. Fighting. Tower. We could go kill that thing right now. We just fly to the top of it. Would Rathalos... Do you think Rathalos would get tempered? If we just flew straight into the top of the tower, dive-bombed it as Dragoon, and destroyed the thing? The sun rising, so... Moon's probably long since set. We missed our opportunity to check out the moon. Why can't I quick land? Usually, if you try to dismount, it, like, drops you really fast down. There we go. 
I was like, it's like breaking. Drop! Drop, Rathalos, drop! <laughs> I don't know how to do that. There is no moon. There is no war in Bossing Say. All right, well, everyone get on the stairs. We're going to take a quick picture as the sun rises behind us. And, uh, and we'll end this stream here. I think it's probably a little bit late. Yeah, 11 o'clock for, uh, for Boja tonight. But uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll make you all wait around and we'll do Boja next week for a little while. Just for kicks and giggles. We'll see. Ignore the triple triad cards in my inventory. This was not a triple triad stream. We didn't play triple triad once. Aren't you all proud of me? So proud of me. We're doing this. We're going full, full war mode. Oh, we got to equip with Rathalos with a warding scale. But he's a dragon. He's already got scales. He should be fine. He should be fine. I turned off battle effects. Is that not considered a battle effect? I guess it's not considered a battle effect. <laughs> Maybe I won't do that then. Here, we gotta... What is it? Sit. And then jump. To reset it. There we go. I really like battle stance way more than, than victory. Because battle stance, you kind of like... Jab up into the air. And it just looks way more... Epic. Uh, we need some light. A little bit of light. And <laughs> the cat. <laughs> Gotta get the cat in here. Harsh just chilling in the background. Yeah, what's up? Chilling so harshly. Alright, y'all, it has been a ton of fun. It's been cool getting new gear. It's crazy seeing everyone. I wanna I wanna like see them all in battle. I can't wait. I hope Sid Garland will join us as well. And uh and we'll have to uh get some extra triple triad cards. I'm so annoyed. <laughs> this one in particular. Uh this one right here. Before no, not that one. Where is it? South Shroud? Yeah, no, it's Mordona. This is the Indolent Imperial. Oh my gosh, I beat this guy so many times and he keeps giving me the same card that I don't care about. It's just like, ah! That's the guy that I have the six cards from and, and I've beaten him so many times. But uh, clearly my, my streamer luck does not keep going uh, between streams. <laughs> it, it, doesn't, it doesn't hold together when, uh, when I'm not streaming. So we'll have to do that next time. Uh, have a good one, and we'll see you all uh, next stream. It'll be fun. And if I do any, if I am able to get on between this stream and next stream, I'll let you know in the Discord. Uh, if you know tomorrow is an option, you'll find out in the Discord. If you're not in the Discord, join the Discord. If you're just watching this, hopefully you've had fun and enjoyed it, even as a stream. And uh, we'll see you around. Feel free to subscribe if you like the content. As always, I never pitch that out because I always forget because I'm a bad content creator, and this is great. <laughs> see y'all later. Have a good one. Bye. <laughs>